continues with God. But how can we ask grace to be applied? We live. Jesse beat me to the E. We fucking live, baby. Oh, what an exciting time. The Masters is not a runaway. That's dope. And Colin Morikawa making a late push yesterday. I fucking love it. I just... I love it. Everybody's going to the party. Oh, God damn it. Does this have the wrong thumbnail? Shit the fuck. That's... I changed the thumbnail. I know I did. Oh, God damn it. Come on. Oh, this ain't that just the life. Uh, I don't think he will. <laughs> I think he's a golf machine. Is she like really on, uh, on birthing's door? Is she that close? Oh, damn, dude. I think if Scott, you know. If she gave birth right now before his tea time, he might bail. But as soon as he starts, he is going to be like, don't contact me, in my opinion. I don't know. He He's one of the few guys that does seem kind of human. Um... Oh, suck my damn dick. Oh, pardon my language. Compress more. Ah. Okay, Jesse, don't you think that instead of having a two megabyte maximum on thumbnails, that YouTube should just like build in a way to compress it? It should just auto do that for you. I, d I know they can do that. Okay. Oh, Scotty, dude. I Scotty could really, really have... Uh, like a tiger like dominance. I really think he's that good. Uh it's just all about how long he can do it. Um Oh, can't give me a break. Not you, Jesse, the internet. There we go. There we go. A thumbnail that actually matches. Yeah, I I think that's what's upsetting is that he's very uh, boring. I think the things that make him boring also make him good, you know? Like he seems to love his wife and uh, uh, just be kind of like a real wholesome Texas guy. But also that's not exciting. Tiger Woods was exciting. Even when he even when you weren't aware of the fact that he was having sex with porn stars and that and the like, you could kind of feel it.
I could feel it. Okay. Now we can just enjoy the Masters. What a luxury I'm afforded. Um, I would like to see some of these uh, young guys, though. So, like, uh, who? Tom Kim. I think Tom Kim has a chance to, like, dominate. He was, like, so great. He was in the top five for everything for a while. Um, I don't really see his name on the leaderboard recently. Uh, there's just a, there's always a couple of young guys that could come up and be so hot. I do think that, I think that golf maybe now is so worldwide, uh, it's so popular that no one can be as dominant as Tiger again because there will always be like a 19 year old that's like able to hit it a couple yards further and, um, and that kind of shit, I think. IMO, IMHO. Thirty one on the back. Let's check that out. Oh, see, look, Tom Kim actually did do pretty good. Or, I mean, it looks like he did bad today. Maybe he did bad. He did horrible today, but he made the cut. Uh. This view is hard to understand for me. Uh, okay, maybe it was Tom Kim. Okay, those. Okay, those numbers were so confusing. Yes, that's my boy. Four straight birdies. Okay. In that other view that just shows like his change in score, it's very confusing. But this is fucking nice. And here's some highlights of Tom Kim. Yeah, big Tom Kim fan. Right, exactly. You're right, Jesse. I wish they would just do it traditional plus minus. I don't like that. Anyway, so Tom Kim, he's got promise. Uh, he's always like eating M and M's and shit. He's like a little boy. And I love Ricky. It was good for Ricky to post a a round under par today. Uh. Oh, he's still going. Let's go. Uh, let's go take a look at Ricky. Do, 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 do. Oh, got you. Yeah, all that traditional bullshit. Okay, let's go to holes. Let's see if they have hole ten. I want to see Ricky. Ba -ba. Is that Amen Corner? Amen Corner's 11? 10, 11, 12? Okay, there we go. We got Tony Finau for double bogey. Yeah, agreed, Jesse. I don't... Uh, I guess all the majors. I, I, I like the majors equally, I'd say. But the Masters, definitely the most. Yeah, I would love to do that. I don't know how it works either. Um, I know... Well, I know my uncle went, but I think maybe he was invited by someone. Uh, he got me a master's hat, which I should I should probably wear, honestly, huh? Um, I 
Okay, show me Ricky. So I'm just going to watch him in corner then. Till old, old Rickaroo comes through. Oh, thanks, Jesse. My mom uh, bought this for me. I had like a master's party in college. And there's a little, there's a little master's logo, laminate, a laminated logo <laughs> sewn onto there. So thank you, mom. Okay, we got to do, we got to do an Instagram promo. Got to show the people what's up. Okay. That's cringe. That's cringe, but you got to be cringe these days. At least I'm told. You gotta be cringe. The handcrafted brilliance of what? I wonder what it's like to uh, get your second green jacket. It probably feels kind of pointless. I mean, obviously you want to keep winning, but... Be -do -do -do. In your life, on your mother. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, there we go. I can be done with that. You don't get more jackets? You should. Oh, nice. Okay. Screw aim in corner then. Do 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 do. Folks, things are getting hot. Wait, let me understand this. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I understand now. I understand now. So Cameron Smith eagled too? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, Cameron Smith marching. So Cameron Smith is probably my favorite still remaining. People have mixed, you know, he's a live guy, but whatever. Okay, I'm no longer confused by this scoreboard. <laughs> <coughs> Come on, baby. Rory, Rory. Rory is kind of a bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll say Rory, Rory. You Irish bitch. When are you going to win a green jacket? Never, ever. Oh, he's definitely an Australian stereotype. He's awesome. Uh, I guess it, I like Australia in general, you know, like I'm a fan of I'm a well, I'm a big fan of Jason Day now that he's uh, all decked out in streetwear, though. He doesn't claim to uh, like that. He claims to be like, oh, Bryson's wearing his live team shirt. Look, live golf. For what it is. 
uh, the logos are done. The logos for the teams are done. Joaquin Neiman now for a really bendy putt. I really liked Joaquin Neiman too. He was one of the people I didn't want to see go. Wow, he makes a great attempt. He he uh he takes a fifteen foot putt and you know has a travel distance of thirty five feet, leaves it two inches short. But Cam Smith, he is Australian, whatever. I think it's just like uh he he's he's chill. The mullet and the mustache. I guess I just I like anyone on the tour that looks different. It's probably the same thing that, you know, made me like Ricky Fowler when he came on tour. Um Xander Shoffley. Wow. Wow, pretty approach shot. Also, you're in. We gotta go. Yeah, that was beautiful. Landed it on the fat part and let it feed down to the pin. Rory's trying to get a birdie. And takes it. I mean, Rory does seem back more in control than he has in a while, but he's he's out of this one. Oh, yeah, Jesse. You should have brought your... I mean, honestly, uh, I could... Uh, I could I could get you in contact with some clubs. And there's so many great spots to golf in uh, uh, St. Louis, but I know you're going all over. Um, we'll, we'll text about that later. I might be able to connect you with that because that's such a fun thing to do on the road. Um, and in St. Louis, um, like Forest Forest Parks Golf Course is great and public. And there is, yeah, that's all of good golf, especially in April. Um, well, you probably will drive through my hometown if you're going from St. Louis to Indy. And uh, I'll see... I I think I have an extra set of clubs at my mom's house that you could take with you if you want. They're like old uh tailor made burners. Tony. Yeah, that's true too. Yes, we should. I I like uh I've hit the range twice now. The Lincoln Park range is like an easy drive for me and I'm feeling it. I'm I'm really feeling it. And every time I watch a major, I want to play golf so bad. Um But yeah, I'd really like to play more. Especially with my new schedule. Ah, oh, what a peaceful sport, golf. Oi, what a peaceful sport, this. Dun 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 dun. Every night you go to bed, you wake up just a little more in pain. Yeah, you did tell me that. Didn't you say he was pretty good? 
How does Scoville stack up against uh, Santino? Because I hear Santino's kind of uh, the ringer. Also, Jesse, do you know um, Tyler Buckingham? He's a Chicago comic. He's, uh, he's a very good golfer. I think he played college golf. But he just posted on YouTube like his first nine holes of the year. And uh, he shot like three over or something. But uh, he's a really cool guy. I've been meaning to ask him to play golf. Cloud surprise you with rain. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really want to. I've been keeping my clubs in my trunk with the thought that I would just play while I'm, you know, out and about. And that hasn't really happened. Santino's a four. Okay. A four is respectable. All right, so Shoffley gets the tap in birdie with that beautiful second shot on the par five, too. John Rahm on the uh, par 5 13th, much harder. He sticks it on the green, but he doesn't like it. It's going to be a long putt. Bryson's stupid ass now for birdie on two. You're chasing. Uh, let's see who the uh, low amateur is. That's always fun. You want Bryson to go full heel, Jesse? Oh, Neil. Oh, dude, I didn't even think about that. That would be so stressful to be an amateur paired with Tiger. I would shit my pants. Neil Hippler. Well, respect to you, Neil Hippler. Oh, he's the only one that made the cut. <laughs> well, congrats. Yeah, how dare you, Jesse? I wasn't going to call it out. <laughs> Tony Finau. He, he rolled one in the water. Poor guy. We love him, though. All right, so it looks like Morikawa came in. Oh, Morikawa eagled? What the fuck? What the hell? No. Ah, oh, God damn it. That's so confusing. Okay. Never mind. I got to get used to that. So Scheffler and Morikawa come in with par on the on their first. Why would the featured group not be showing that? Every night you go to bed, you wake up, there's a little more in pain. 
clouds surprise you with rain. There we go. Joaquin Neiman. Again, nice guy. Live guy. That's okay. Yo, let's just go on record here on stream. These live guys, they're just trying to feed their families. Okay? So don't give them a hard time. What a beautiful day. I'm 3D printing planners. We're watching the masters. Just good stuff. That's doable. That oil money. All right. And Finau snugs one up to have a, a easy crack at bogey. Poor Tony. Not having a good start here. All right. So uh, Scheffler, Morikawa, Homa, and Ludwig all come in with pars at the first hole and now they're going to the par five and this is going to be a deciding factor i think in the masters all right if scotty scheffler can eagle number two i think he's really going to run away with it birdie that's to be expected par is actually if he can't capitalize if he can't get a stroke on this that's bad um it'll be interesting to see the four of them who will go for the green and two. Um, I guess, wait, okay. On the, on the second, on the second hole, I can't remember if there's water by the green or like how dangerous going for it is, but anyway, we shall see. Jonathan Rom. Just like every cowboy plays a sad, sad song. All golf has John Rom. John fucking Rom. And you're right, Jesse. You're right about that. And that is why Scotty Scheffler, it sucks. That's why you don't want him to be the world number one. And that's why I like Cam Smith. Cam Smith will always go for it. He's like kind of Australian tin cup in my mind. Scotty Scheffler is a uh, uh, shooter McGavin to me. God damn, they got to make more golf movies. That's what I've been saying. Um, Jesse, someday we're going to make a golf movie, okay? Comedy or serious. But there's not enough golf movies, and most golf movies feel um, kind of forced and made by people that don't understand golf. I've always really wanted to do kind of like a like a dark comedy about um 
a golf team at a community college. I thought that would be really fun. But I also have this theory that a good uh, golf comedy comes around every 20 years or 30 years. We're kind of due. Caddyshack, Happy Gilmore, now something else. Cedric the Entertainer tried with Who's Your Caddy and a couple others, but we're due. Um, excuse me, Ma. Jeez Louise. They're doing Gilmore too? That's, that's fucked up. That's just fucked up. All right. Okay, so out of everybody left, I just don't want Scheffler to win. Homa Morikawa, I love. Alberg, he I know he's like a young guy, or he was like the low amateur at the Masters at some point. Um, but yeah, okay, so Scotty's out of the bunker. He lays up. Max Homa is weighing his options here. He's going to take a little wedge. Run it in off the green. His eagle chip. It's looking good. Go, baby. Get in there. Oh. And Max Homa just misses the eagle chip. Okay, hell yeah. Yeah, beautiful shot by Homa. So that's, you know, you can presume Homa's got a birdie there. Takes a stroke back. Uh, why would you go to 18? Who gives a fuck? Bing. Okay, that's why you went there. Guy made a long putt. Wow, what a rocky scorecard that guy has. Two under day, but he hardly parred. Xander at the third. Tries to uh, drop it on the green and run it back at the pin, but it holds a little firmer than he expected. McElroy for birdie, like I give a damn. But he drains it. This is like, McElroy seems to do this often, where he's out of contention for the Masters, but then he'll post a good Sunday just, like, for vanity. Um. Anyway. Oh. Ludwig for birdie. It's a long one. And he drains it. Beautiful. And now Ludwig for a moment, is tied for third. And he gets uh, he gets away with a, a birdie at the par five second. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Who needs to get their mental straight, Jesse? Rory? I'm going to assume you mean Rory. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's kind of a mess, dude. I, I think I feel that it was like everyone just wanted the next tiger. And so they like made him, they wanted him so bad to be the next tiger and like they tried to do the video game and they just forced it on him so much that I think he really didn't couldn't handle that. And I think he would um like Speeth Speeth has like a very quiet role and Speeth has kind of fallen off too, but I think if Rory uh didn't get as much spotlight it might help his mental game cuz he is like so addicted to golf 
and he has that tiger mentality of like i will get jacked and you know i will make every muscle in my body the right size and dimension to good <laughs> I, honestly it's like i want bryson just to be completely out, out of the picture more than i would rather scotty win And again, Scotty, I feel about Scotty the same way I felt about Spieth. I just think that they're so boring, and I don't like it. Um, okay, so Morikawa there just hops over the green. Terrell Hatton. Yeah, Terrell Hatton's fun. Oh, and here he is, just poured in a birdie. I mean, getting to even, you can, uh, I mean, if Tom Kim can post a back nine like that, I guess anyone can take a run. That's what's been really crazy, too. They always say, like, the back nine at Augusta is plays a little bit easier. Um, oh, Terrell did? I must have missed that. Uh, but they say, like, the back nine plays easier and people just kind of march. But then, like, this year... All the other days of this week, it's been playing worse. Um, but maybe there's something about whole position and conditions that they were. Oh, wow. John Rahm has a really nice looking shot there. John, 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 Jonathan Rom. Jaw, 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 Jonathan Rom, bada dee dee dee. On site. BRB. Jesse, did you watch UFC last night? The the much anticipated UFC 300. Oh wow. Damn. Was that Scotty? Scotty just pegged someone in the crowd. Oh, 
What gives, Scotty? I got to dig more into Bryson DeChambeau's 3D printed clubs. Oh, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. More than anything, I'm I'm just grateful that we have a hunt on Sunday. Oh, Christ. Mm. I smell sex and candy, yeah. Who's that lounging in my chair? Who's that casting devious stares in my direction? Mama, that surely is a dream. Hey, Daniel. Who? Daniel, my manual. Dan. Whether you like golf or not, you better fucking like it today. Okay, so that is Ludwig chips it over the green. He's on the second cut. He's probably going to be putting that. Hey, mama, this surely is a dream. Yeah. Yeah, mama, this must be my dream. Who's that lounging in? Oh, Cam Smith dropped a stroke. Shoot, Cam. All right. So, Scotty off the green here. Birdie chip. He asked everyone if it moved. He's also surrounded with people. He's surrounded by people with southern accents, so they also had a date to move. Oh, that's interesting, Jesse. Where'd you go to college? Um, the community college I went to, there was an astronaut that went there, and they really. Oh, Olympia. Okay. That's what's up. See, very Washington vibes. And Dan, thank you for recognizing. This this is really the only time I can wear this jacket, so. And Bryson drains along birdie. So, so Bryson, after posting all fives, two over on the day, gets a birdie. Ludwig, putting from off the green, just misses. But uh, leaves himself a nice lag. 
and is probably going to be able to convert that par. This seemed to align. Okay, Colin. Colin Morikawa to tie the leader. From about 10 feet. <sighs> he misses low side. He misses low side, leaves himself a bit of a tester for par. And uh, just across from him, Scheffler is staring down his par putt, which is by no means a gimme. Morikawa opts to go first. And converts. So Morikawa, Morikawa comes away with par at the par five second. He's going to wish he got more out of that hole. I'll say that, folks. So Homa got a birdie. Ludwig got a birdie at two. And Scheffler, okay. And Homa just missed his putt for... Oh, yo, one second, folks. So, here, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. So then I I tilted it and kind of made it okay. slightly yeah, opaque yeah, yeah. or whatever, uh, for the leaderboard. And then the chat is tilted too. Okay. Uh, yeah. I see. And. Uh, yeah, we got Dan. Yes, yeah, sir. And we got the boys. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was real cute. <laughs> I thought it was just a picture oh, of them. No. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Is do Jesse it. watching the Masters? Yeah. Jesse's a a big golf guy. We've golfed together. He really? And I. Yeah. That was like over COVID. Me, Jesse, and Si Young played golf a couple of times. Hmm. I feel like I I played golf with David Schindlinger one time. I don't know about Jesse. How was that? Uh, D David was like a lot better than I thought. It might have just been me, Schindlinger, and Si Young. Jesse, were you there when we played golf with Schindlinger? It was pretty amazing. Mm. But we played on this like, uh, fuck, what Glenway in Madison? Do you know? Oh, that? Okay, yeah, it sounds really. Familiar. It's the cheapest one. Is that the one? It's where by the it? cemetery. Yeah, I was like, I went to high school right there. Oh, I, okay. I got my dick sucked on that golf course <laughs> one night. One night senior year, baby. Nice. That course was awesome. When I was in college, they like uh you could do nine holes walking for nine dollars. Oh Jesus. And that's maybe the best deal I've ever seen anywhere. Yeah. Um, and it's not a bad course. It's just short and it doesn't have any water. It's just incredibly easy. Yeah. But I don't mind that. You yeah, know? sometimes you want an easy one. And when I was in college, uh, me and Mitch McConnell, uh, Cernick, I'm trying to remember his name, uh, we won the uh, rec league. What What's the word I'm looking for? Intramural. Oh, okay. The intramural golf tournament there at Glenway. And uh, that was really, really exciting. I did not expect to win. Well, no problem. But he and I just played. He and I were not great golfers, but we both played high school golf at like a – good enough level yeah and but there was no one really else there that like played golf just well yeah you yeah, know yeah. uh and so yeah and and that's like so at uw if you win one of the intramural sports you get a champion's shirt Ooh, who is that morikawa morikawa rolls one into the bunker lesikawa for me you know, see so probably wanted lesikawa on that one <laughs> Oh, Jesse, Jesse has pl never played with Seung or David. Okay. But I've played with Jesse, so. Um, Seung is, Seung and David Schindlinger were about the same skill level. Thank you. 
And that is not an insult or a compliment to either of you. Okay. That's just it's a just, fact. It is what it is. That's just a fact. I see. It's just if you're a betting man, the odds are pretty even, honestly. That's what you should bet on. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, but you should get into golf, dude. We'll we'll go play, like, the chief courses. So here's the fun thing, okay? If uh, now that daytime hours, weekday hours – are more flexible. Yeah. There is uh really incredible deals. Okay. And so there's like courses around here where, you know, you mostly have to walk cuz they'll like you know, whatever. And then they'll also try to fill groups. So it's like if two people make a tee time, they'll try to be like the the two, you know, if you have a group of two or less, they're like it's this deal and like it might oh, rain. I see, I see, I see. And so uh like day of you can get golf now is the app i use um so i've been wanting to do that okay and uh i've also i was just talking about uh tyler buckingham do you know him he's a chicago comic he's uh a great golfer i think he was a college golfer okay i'd like to play with him uh he seems pretty chill all right i'm gonna go upstairs we just got back and I saw that package you showed. Did you buy a record? I bought a bunch of records. I bought more records than I should have. Really? Yeah. I list them. Watch this shit. <clears throat> Seung has a big record collection at the Airbnb. Which honestly, uh, I shouldn't admit this. I don't, I don't want to say this on stream. No, don't say it. Uh, for any potential future renters, it's not bad. It's just for. Old sweatshirt album I really like. Oh yeah, I've been listening to a lot. Okay. Here, we'll do. Nice. We'll do that okay. for the stream. Hey, let's go. There you go. There yeah. we go. Hit got him with that. It. This I is got. Uh, the weird, the weird world of Blowfly. Okay. Oh, it's a comedy album. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh. Then we got, you're going to like this one. The Steve Martin Brothers. One side comedy, one side banjo. Oh, I love that. Featuring big time ski of country and bluegrass session players like Vassar, Clint Reed. Oh, holy shit, that's like, is that uh, a reprint or is that just, I got it. Yeah, there's more. God damn, that's music. Yeah, that's right. I love Steve Martin. Brother. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> All right, Elliot on the ones and twos. How we going, fuckers? Just going through the albums I just picked up. We got National Lampoon, Gold Turkey, Radio Hour Greatest Hits. I love Radio Hour. I'm trying to do more stuff like that. See on here, we got, you know, we got the greats. Gilda Radner, Belushi, Christopher Guest, Bill Murray. Oh, yeah, we got a bunch. Chevy Chase. New Filament. New Filament. Then we got Lemmings. Oh, nice. National Lampoon Lemmings. Near Mint. Damn, you got a haul. Red Fox. Oh, I spent way too much money. I spent like 80, Red, Red 80 Fox bucks. Five bucks yeah, their used ones are really good. That's awesome. Well, so that's the problem. Is because I go, oh, four ninety nine. Oh, seven ninety nine. Yeah. Oh, blah, blah. And then it's we like, we got Best of Red Fox, Laugh Records. Um, and then Blowfly, Zodiac Blowfly, more Blowfly. This is his X-rated take on the Zodiac. And I think it's music. Oh, yeah, dude. This is... This is all uh, back when they did party records like this. Party records when you put out your albums, you know? 
Oh, did we get reference? Uh, no, we did not. I'd be down. What's on, what, what spot is on Regent Street? I think that was you and David Schimlinger. Yeah, that, you, that you in the shed. To, yeah. People mix us up all the time. And then I got uh, Lenny Bruce. I don't know anything about Lenny Bruce except for Lenny. Like, well, here's what I'll read you on the back. Lenny Bruce was a legend before he died. In recent years, we have witnessed several productions on the theme of Lenny's life. This recording features the material that made Lenny a legend, the material that he'll be remembered for. This is the story of Lenny. Oh, yeah, so these are... Oh, okay, so these are when he got arrested. These are all the performances he got arrested at. Byron Siren. Byron Woo! Siren for that. Oh, okay, so this is a re-release. This album was previously released under the title... It kind of lines up. Two is a prepos really nice right Two is a preposition, come as a verb. Hey, that's a little bit of me. Lenny. <laughs> there you go. Just a little more. More. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's great. Clip it, folks. Strictly Disc sounds familiar. Strictly Dixon. Oh, oh, yeah, you said that. Clip it again. Strictly Disc and B-Side. There's another B-Side? I thought there was only the one on State. I've also been to uh, Madtown or Mad City Music or Madtown Music or whatever down uh, in Atwood. They have good comedy used, too. <laughs> But no, I spent. I wanted to get a Shell Silverstein one. There was Shell oh. Silverstein does a, uh, like red a man a up. man named Sue and other country classics. What? Yeah, it was twenty bucks though, so I was like, fuck. Oh, that's amazing. They it's a good spot. And then there was another record store on the way that looked like way more disheveled and just like small, you know. And they're just like, it, it was closed though. But I do want to go back there. You have a record player, I'm assuming. I do. I need to get a better one though. Um, do you know what zoetropes are? No. Give that a Google. Okay. I want a 3D. It's a. It's basically like a stop motion circular. Dip. Oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. I want to 3D print a bunch of little stuff and make those. Okay. Is it like? Oh, did you ever go to Ella's Deli in Madison? Holy shit! Yeah, I went to Ella's Deli. Is it like that? Do you remember that thing that they had the clown thing? That you press the button and spin really fast with the with like a strobe with a strobe yeah. and it was the clown yeah. yeah exactly exactly that but whatever I want probably not clowns though that's cool Mac Miller did a music video I think kind of like that posthumously I always want to say post hominously post hominously co hominous I'm down to go record shop I love going fucking comedy record shopping. That's why I spend too much fucking money. I was like, because you, you do the little ones and then you get to the counter and they're scanning them. And that's where you're like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Like not even, I wasn't even looking at the numbers, but I was just like, oh, I am doing more math now in my head. And, but yeah, that's why I haven't. It's my birthday present. A record player. Oh yeah. Coming up on that. Oh, when's Cosmo's birthday? Cosmo's <laughs> birthday is like on Wednesday. When is his? The seventeenth. Oh, okay. And you yeah, know, Wednesday. Mine's the twenty second. Yeah. Mine's Monday. My mom's is the fifteenth, which is a week before mine for the day. So and hers is Monday. And Hitler's hers, Saturday. Hers is tomorrow. Wow, we got a cluster. Uh oh. Do you have a celebrity birthday you share with? Uh, probably. I don't know, man. Do you go with Al? Does Al collect? I'm talking to Jesse. Don't look at me. I'm talking to Jesse. Uh, I feel like I was talking to Al about comedy records. Rich, I think, has some, too. Rich and I have talked about them. I, that's why I want to get all my fucking shit, because I have so many in there. So you guys can fully see what I got. I got some weird ones. I'm excited. Yeah. No idea. Well, buddy, that's okay. I'll go through your phone. I'll figure it out. I'll hack you.
We have your data. We have Yeah, but it's geocache. it's just I'm trying to be a good friend. I'm trying to help out your memory. Yeah. All right, I'll probably come back down at some point though. All right. How you're doing this all day? Uh yes. I'll um I have another mic and cable and stand, so Oh yeah, I got my mics too. Um my... well I'm just saying, don't don't bring anything down. Oh. I'll I'll get you. Oh. Take care of everything, huh? I'd like to open the door. It's just kind of how I feel. I see. Yeah, I see. Hey, and don't let me step on that, all right? All right. Nice, dude. Bye, friends. Good record collection. Bye, huh? internet friends. And, folks, that's <laughs> every year at the par 4 fourth, we like to have Elliot come on and talk about his records. Oh, go for it. If you uh if you load up the bowl, um, oh okay I won't talk on stream but <laughs> uh, do your thing. For sure. Oh, the shambo just rolls in a big fat bird, and he's even on the day now. <clears throat> All right. Par three fourth. See, I guess I keep missing all the Terrell Hatton buzz. Terrell Hatton reminds me of uh that guy Beef. Do you remember Beef? God, what was his actual name? He was pretty fun. I saw him in real life. All right, Xander for a par save. Misses. And Xander's going to drop a stroke. No, not Reed. Uh, he had like a big orange beard. I mean, at least it's not Patrick Reed, but like, uh, God dang, what's his name? I'll give it a Google. Andrew Johnston. He's a. Uh, here we'll we'll uh, we'll give everybody a little Andrew Johnston. That's beef, baby. Beef. And he was like partnered with Arby's where like he, you know, threw out curly fry head covers and shit. Throwback to beef. Big fan of beef. Yeah, but he's just kind of one of those guys. There's so many guys that come and go uh, that you really like. Like, I was so uh, I was so a fan of Jason Duffner, and he kind of fell off the face of the planet. I see he makes a couple cuts here and there, but he's kind of he was kind of Joel Damon before Full Swing existed. And I believe he got cucked by Dustin Johnson. People have said this, which is difficult. But also makes sense. All right, Rory sticks one at the par, par three thirteenth, twelfth. Except a little fish. God dang. Everything's going the wrong direction. Scotty's not supposed to be pulling ahead. So Tommy Fleetwood with a birdie. Maybe he can make a little bit of a run. 
Ludwig kind of holding strong. All the top four kind of holding strong. All right. So Scotty off the green has to sc uh, scramble here on the fourth. He's pretty good at that. And it's not a long chip, but it's a weird angle. And he leaves it short. Maybe. Okay. Weirdly, he, he it, it stays in a spot you'd think a ball could not be stopped. But not necessarily in a good way. Uh, so he's just on the green, right inside the second cut. He's going to have a really hard downhill putt, but... You know, we'll see if he makes a par save. And Morikawa here. I'm watching the website one. The website one, no ads. Just the good stuff. All right, Morikawa now with a chance. Assuming Scotty misses his par putt, this is big. Come on, Colin. Do it for America. Go. Did he give it enough? Um, amazing pace. Leaves it just a slight bit low and is going to have himself a par tap in. Um, but, you know, you, you, you see what Scotty has in front of him and you want to make sure you two putt there. So Morikawa, steady Eddie, even on the day. Nothing but pars. With your feet on the ground. I'm a no, 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 no. Wow, wow. Okay, Ludwig stands over it. Ludwig with a chance for birdie and his share of second place. Got 30 feet, 20 feet. Get going, ball. Go, baby. A great lag. He had the line. Leaves it a couple inches short. Scotty here. Oh, Scotty misses the par save low. So Scotty's going to drop a shot. Morikawa pars. Ludwig parred at, uh, okay, Scotty, uh, holy shit. Max misses his birdie putt. So he's going to have a tap in par as well. He gets down to look at it because it's the Masters. I think he might be stepping on Ludwig's line. Homa puts in the par.
Pull out, fun. Love to see it. Oh, VJ. Tom Kim. Woo! And John Rom holds out. But folks, all of these ultimately don't matter. Oh, holy shit, I didn't realize Cam Smith's eagle was out of the bunker. Man, I want Cam Smith to make a run. If he can have a back nine like Tom Kim, he will. He'll have it. All right, Morikawa on the fourth. He likes it. Picks up his tee, doesn't even watch it come down. Yeah, Homa with a nice plop. Super excited about that. I Homa, honestly, out of everyone that has a real chance, is my favorite. Then Morikawa. Just not Sheck. Not Mr. Sheck, no. Nay. Jimmy Walker used to say dynamite. That's right. Mm. 
gobble, 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 gobble. Tommy Fleetwood from Old England Town, Foggy England Land. Okay, Max. All in Morikawa. A good green in regulation, but doesn't hold, rolls a bit on him. Terrell. Get ball. Terrell Hatton with a great run at Eagle there. Going to come away with a birdie probably. Okay, sorry, I had to jam some food in. Um, so, that was interesting. Very Scotty Scheffler, Morikawa lands it real close to the pin and kind of runs it deep on the green. Scheffler lands it in almost the same spot and keeps it within eight feet. That's the difference, folks. I do not understand the AT&T commercial that I just saw. Oh, so I guess I am watching commercials. Oh, that's okay. I like to see what the common man sees. I need to see capitalism's version. Oh, the smoke fucked up my green screen. I should have known better. Ah, shoot, I should have known better. Okay, Cam Smith punched out there. Jesse, did you watch uh, Righteous Gemstones? Sometimes uh, Cam Smith reminds me of Adam Devine's boyfriend. The Satanist guy. Oh, I highly recommend. It's very fun. It's a good blending of uh, Danny McBride, Jeff Goodman, Jeff Goodman, John Goodman, John Goodman, and Adam Devine. Three people you would not expect to maybe blend well. Maybe you would, but they do.
All right, so Ludwig giving it a good study here. And pulls it. Nice. So Ludwig with a power save there. <laughs> he gives a big sigh of relief. Tommy Fleetwood. Tommy Fleetwood just misses his birdie on the left edge. And that's that's kind of going to be the the day for Tommy Fleetwood, you know. Every opportunity he has to birdie within 10 feet, he's got to make. Colin Morikawa now for birdie. Oh! Just 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 misses it. Wow. Homa for birdie. He he just misses out to the edge. All these guys with great chances to take a stab at the lead here. Homa and Morikawa both had birdie putts to co-lead. And Scheffler is going to be uh, taking a crack at his birdie here in a second. The hottest man on the course. You heard him say it. Terrell Hatton. Yeah. I'm just, yeah, Hatton just came on. That's insane. So Hatton plugs one within maybe five feet there. Now let's see if Scheffler converts. I mean, historically, Scheffler's going to make this, and it's just fucking annoying. It's off, and he leaves it high. So Scheffler's going to get away with a par, keep the lead by a stroke. I can't believe he's marking that. That's fucking insane. We're the kids of America. America. Scotty. Scotty with the par putt that he could blow in, but he, wow. <laughs> that looks so easy of a putt, and he still kind of put it on the right half. Not trying to judge the world's number one golfer. He made it, but. We're the kids of America. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Five minutes.
All right, we're back right behind schedule. Oh no, a homer shank? Shuffler for birdie? Wow. Sits it on the front. Okay, Homer with a nice little layup there. Morikawa, sink this, baby. Go. Stay high. Oh! Misses just low. Man, that was a fast one. He ran it past, uh, past a little bit. Some more Kawa. Probably going to get a par there. Here we got Cam Smith for par. There you go. Cam Smith with a good par save. You got to assume if the back is playing easier, which let's take a look at everybody else today. Ludwig. Wow. Ludwig with a great approach shot. Okay. So it doesn't exactly look like people are gaining strokes on the back. Kind of a weird scattering. Tom Kim is like an anomaly. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing remarkable. Nothing remarkable, but... So where did Tom Kim end up? Why does this look like this? Why don't I understand that? Oh, okay, I understand now. Now I understand. Ugh. Hey, Allison. Hey, Allison. Hey, Allison. She's on the western side. There at the Jersey skyline. She's in a real bad mood. Couldn't get back to you. And Tony closes out the day with an 80. Oof. Oof the Lieber. And him and John Rom touch nipples. Clone. Colonial foot soldier. Okay. Morikawa. Nice drive. Sits up pretty on top of a hill, so he's going to have a nice flat lie. See if he can get that stroke. Homa to save his par after a shonk. And he can, he leaves it low. He leaves it low. Wow. 
Wow, Scheffler wailed on that one. And he pulled it. Oh. Of course, he gets the members bounce off the fucking tree. Things are getting interesting. I I think it's like I want the Masters to go to a playoff. It should be tense down to the end. Oh, Ludwig birdies. Yes. Yes. The Brit. This putt is insane. If this goes in. That's crazy. Cam Smith not making strides. I hate these ads, dude. Hey, Allison. Waiting, watching the clock. It's four o'clock. It's got to so tell me it looks better as things go on here. Who's ourselves here? Uh. He's all alone. She dreams and oh, she dreams again. Oh, I have a case of Belcher. All right, Colin Morikawa now. I mean, this hole is so fucking hard. So he's only got 132 left, but it's what I'd call Bunker City all around the green. Pin is up front, teasing you. Uh, I think if you land anything short with any spin at all, it's going to roll back. 
the the pin location it's front front right and it's also like on a lower shelf you know so depending on where you land it on the green the hillside is going to pull it back you don't know how much etc etc Call one. 132. Cuts it left to right. Oh, right at it. And I said you couldn't like you couldn't leave it short without any spin, and he does. It gets it is stopped just by the second cut, but he's gonna have a really good look at Birdie there. An uphill putt, which you want. Go, Scotty. It's your birthday. Oh, let's keep a tracker on his wife. Scotty wife status. Oh, he reveals he has a plan. All right. So Scotty is uh is on record that he will leave. He will withdraw, which is the right thing to do if your baby's being born. And he loves his wife wife Meredith. Okay, so Scotty chips one up and close. And uh he's got like a 10-foot putt here for par. It would be interesting if his wife went into labor and it's incredibly close how people will feel about that. <laughs> e even still, you know, like second place, third place, there's a couple contenders right now. And I'm including Cameron Smith in that. Come on, Cameron. He can eagle any hole. Terrell Hatton misses well. He says, what the fuck, to the reed. He's, he's doing a lot of hand motioning. Even flow. Oh, if you don't know, oh, it chases me away, me away. Life away. Oh. Oh. Okay. Scotty, what you got? Can you say par? Are you the king of scrambling? Morikawa, you've set yourself up for a real nice birdie chance here. Will you flap? Will you fly?
Homa, that Homa bogey, they were just talking about it. It's rare. First one in 32 holes. Second one in 32 holes or something. He doesn't do it often, folks. Okay, I understand the debate. So, Morikawa's ball is like right on the edge of green and first, second cut. Uh, and so he's asking if he can mark it, and he doesn't understand if he can or not. Tommy Fleetwood nearly chips in. And who we got here? Oh, fucking Bryson. Bryson runs one up the hill on eight. Leaves himself a 10-footer. Adam Shank. Holy shit. Drains like a 100-footer. Drains a hundred footer after two consecutive bogeys. That's got to feel great. Morikawa, come on, baby. He gave it a go. Oh, it's low again. That's the second one. He's left right on the low side. Colin. Paul and let it die high. You know that. And he pars. And so that nothing but pars for Colin Morikawa today. And some really good looks. A lot of them tap in pars. Uh, and so Scheffler, though, could drop a stroke. In which case, we would have a three-way tie for a lead. Hideki Matsuyama. Misses his birdie chance on 18. Irrelevant. That's how crazy the conditions are. Hideki Matsuyama at 7 over is 38th. I love him. Scheffler doesn't convert his par, and we have a fucking tie. Yes. Yes. Where's my effects? Give me my effects. Come on, give me my effects. Yes. Oh, no. That revealed everything. Was that just this? <laughs> That's weird. That's right, Jesse boy. Exciting stuff. I mean, mentally, having your uh, having your pregnant wife on the precipice of birth has to affect your game mentally. I'm sure. Low players down the center of the far right. Homa. Homa begging it to do the right thing. 
All right, and Homa gets himself a piece of the green, so he'll have a chance to get back into it. Auberg is talking it over with his caddy, trying to figure out what to do. I wonder if he knows he's in first now. He holds a share of first, if that is. So he's got 254 yards to the hole. I'm assuming Homa just hit it about 254 yards. That's in. That's really insane to be able to hit a green. That's insane. Okay, Ludwig. He doesn't know if he likes it. Uh, it's off to the right. That's not that big of a deal, though. I mean, ultimately, that's still pin high. The Swede. Morikawa hits the fairway bunker. Not a good. Shuffler. Scheffler fucking rips one. And it cuts ever so slightly left to right. And he's going to park it kind of near a storm drain on the fairway. Scotty Scheffler. Oh, this is the 88th Masters. Fun number. Wait, is that a bad number? I should look that up. I don't know anything about that number. Oh, Ben Stiller. I like to call him Ben Sillier. Legends are born. Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody wang chung tonight. And we're back. Max Home is gonna have himself an eagle putt. He'll need it. Auberg now with a chip off the green. Really fucking aggressive. And is going to leave it just off the green. Big Swedish meatballs on that guy. Terrell Hetton. 
people, the angles people are taking on some of these putts. So Tyrrell Hatton, get in there, man. What an absolutely beautiful putt. Perfect pace and leaves it an inch off to the left. Leaves it an inch to the left and it broke two feet. Wow, he's five under on the day. He's trying to make that money. Okay, so McElroy takes an eagle attempt off the green. Oh my God. Go, baby. Go. Wow, that's great touch. So McElroy's going to have a pretty easy shot at birdie here. Will Zalatoris with his with his lanky ass. Holy shit, Will Zalatoris misses. All right. So yeah, if Max Homa converts this, he would take the lead. Jump over the three people at six under. Go, baby. Go. Wow. What a fucking lag putt. And he's got an easy birdie to, to tie everyone, assuming Auberg doesn't uh, hole it from the rough here. Okay, so Colin Morikawa out of the bunker get, gets it clean and ultimately is laying up there. So he's in the fat of the fairway. <sighs> okay, Ludwig. Oh, bit of an aggressive putt, and is going to have two footer for par. So, Homa is going to go first. He's reading into this a lot, which I mean, it is a putt to take the lead at the Masters. To his credit. <clears throat> All right, Homa. Homa standing over it. And Homa, four-way tie for first. Let's go, baby. All right, and Ludwig converts his par. So, <clears throat> officially a four-way tie here. And I was hanging in the Caribbean. Why did that song... So I bet it's in a fucking ad. That's probably what it is. Ooh. It doesn't make it not a good song, though. Sounds good, Jesse. Do what you got to do. Thanks for hopping on, brother. 
Oh, also, I was meaning to text my sister because I know you got a couple more nights in St. Louis and uh, get some better suggestions because my brother-in-law actually lived there for a while. They live there now. I never, like, lived there as an adult, so I'll get you some more info. Okay, tight, tight. Yeah, I'll get some more insider info. Is there, okay, uh, tell me this before you go, Jesse. Is there any, like, kind of food that you particularly like? You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, I just remember another thing. Ooey gooey butter cake. That's a St. Louis thing. You can get that a lot of places. It's just, like, incredibly sugary. It's good. Uh, but that's, like, a, a you know. All St. Louis um, traditions are trash. But anyway, you can text me. Seafood. Okay. I'll get the name of that oyster bar. They also do like jambalaya and shit. Uh, that is the fucking best. And I can't remember the name of it. But I'll text you. Colin Morikawa's caddy paced out his shot from like a hundred here. Live in Tokyo, eh? Oh, Tokyo. I think that's it, Jesse. Hold on. Uh, yes. Yes. Broadway Oyster Bar. Go there, fucking awesome. Get like the oysters, Rockefeller, or like they, they have a couple different styles. You know, pick one of those, uh, like grilled charbroiled oysters. But it's like one of the few places you can get charbroiled oysters, which are so fucking good. I had the place in New Orleans that's like known for it. It's a lot better, admittedly, but it's a really good thing. Ooh, baby, you like it raw? Well, they definitely have that. And it's got kind of a shack vibe. Like, people throw old shells kind of all around, and it's fun. And they might they might have live music on Sunday nights. They do, they do usually on weekends, so. Anyway, but I love that food. I love that place. Hey, baby, I like it raw. The shambo's a bitch. With his monkey putt. Ludwig's drive on nine. Spot on.
Scheffler bangs one in there. Not an easy leave by any means. Scheffler avoiding thoughts of fatherhood. I'm coming around on Tommy Fleetwood. Dude, this part three is impossible. It looks so easy, but it's impossible. Wow, Tommy Fleetwood keeps it out of the bunker. That's actually going to be nice. He can putt at that. He's got an old caddy. And Scotty scrambles, gets the up and down. Oh, no, excuse me. That was for birdie. Par uh, he, he takes the lead again. Well, God damn it, then I say. There's just so many sports going on. It's absolutely crazy, folks. The Bucks already lost. The Cardinals are scoreless. And the Brewers lost. Morikawa answers Scheffler with a birdie. Uh, I'm not going to do the playoffs, but I might do the finals. I'd, I mean, the blues are not going to make the playoffs. So what's up, Joseph? How goes it, Joe? Shimmy, shimmy, y'all, shimmy, hey, shimmy, yay. Joe, you got a favorite golfer? Also, uh, please follow me or I'll kill you, dude. Adam Scott, Parks and Rec actor, nearly chipping in for birdie. The stream, it's pretty fun. It's mostly uh, just my friend Jesse on YouTube. We're having a casual chat about the Masters. How is your Masters Sunday going? Are you enjoying it? Who do you root for? Caroline Cherry. I love that all the holes have their own name. Looking pretty. You better not say pretty shit. So, but thank you. Thank you for the meantime. While I, I'm sorry, I'm defensive. Twitch is a cruel place. All right, Colin Morikawa. 
co-leads. Scotty Scheffler. He's parred it every round this week. He's eyeing it up. Dog leg left. See if he plays a cut. Yes, of course he does. He's the world's number one. And Scheffler shoots it right out there. Hello, hello. Ludwig from deep. Go, baby, go, go. Yes, and Ludwig ties it up. Fuck yeah. Ah, 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 Auberg. Bro, you got an instant fan, Ludwig. Drains like a, a freaking bomb for a three under front. Wow. Yeah, that came in hot. Just got enough of the cup. Joseph, you're a graphic designer. That's cool. But who do you root for? And is it Ludvig, Ludvig Auberg? You drain a putt like that, it's, it's destiny. So now Homa with a chance to drain a not as long putt to make it a four-way tie again. Come on, Max. Everything okay? Yes, XC videos. I believe it's okay. Go! Oh! And Homa couldn't get his to go. It didn't run too far past. He's got about a five, four or five footer for uh, par here. Oh no, Jesse, what does this mean? Oh, thank you for the follow. Jesse, should I take action? I have no idea what this means. Okay, well, they're harmless, dude. Maybe they're AI. AI is getting so good now, I actually kind of like talking to them. You know? Max Homa to save his par. Sinks it. Sinks it. And so Max Homa hanging in there. He had that good look at birdie, but. Joseph, I will. Uh... Albert's chewing a lot of gum, or is he eating? I'll, uh, I'll check after Joseph.
Oh my goodness. IBM. I'm a freaking robot, yo. IBM. IBM stands for irritable bowel machine. That's what I'm t I'm talking about. The the machine that keeps pumping milk into me and causing my irritable bowel syndrome to flare up. That's right, folks. I'm talking about the milk gun. My wife bought me a milk gun. And IBM Watson, Watson is the guy that holds the gun and he says it's fucking milk time and he shoots it in there and it really flares up my bowels. I hate it. Colin Mora, Colin Morikawa hooks a low stinger around a tree and nearly ran up on the green but ends up finding a bunker, I think, if they change the goddamn camera angle. May Valen. Maeve Ellen, Maeve Ellen, word. Okay, let me save the post. There you go, bro. Now follow my ass, bro. Follow in and around my ass. Wow. Scotty Shuffler takes a shot of the green, spins it back. That might go in. No. Oh, wow. So it's two inches away. And Scotty will have a tap in birdie to pull another stroke ahead. <clears throat> God damn, Scotty Shuffler so good. It's not like he almost hold it. It had perfect pace. Perfect pace. And Shuffler up like that. You live in my head without a doubt. I don't see you glow like that. I won't say that you won't. Thinking about what's happening. I don't say that you won't. Know. You live in my head without a doubt. Down, 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 down. Run a mother man, but rob all around and all rainbow. Oh. 
Colin Morikawa can't escape the bunker. Homa rips it down central. Morikawa with a second attempt. And that gets out. And still stays relatively close. That's just a really, really hard place to be. Ludwig's dialed in, dude. Draining that putt is everything. I mean, Scotty just ripped that. In order for Scotty to lose, he needs to, like, go in the water at Amen Corner. He needs... He needs to fuck up somehow. But it ain't happening right now. I wonder if, like, he was in a playoff, you know, if he would withdraw. Like, if it's just at the end, like, like literally he has a putt to win. And they're like, your wife's in labor. And he's like, okay, well, give me a fucking second. This could be the most fun Masters ever if his wife goes into labor. Oh! Homa sticks one. Cyril Hatton very upset with how his putts are going. Homa with the stoma. Ludwig. Going right at it. He's holding his pose. It's online. Is it going to come back enough? It is. Go, baby. I mean, it would have been hard to get inside of Homa's, but 15-footer is nice for birdie. Burritos. They're making fun of fucking Ludwig because he had Chipotle before the match today. It's like Chipotle is a great meal before you go golfing. You ain't seen nothing like this, bitch. These are sorry. Billy.
Shuffle now. His back foot slid out a bit. But it doesn't matter. Right down the damn middle. Okay, Ludwig, capitalize. Take take part of that lead, baby. Go. Have enough. Miss low. Good run, good lag. Max Homa, short little birdie putt here. Come on, Max. Give it to him. Wow. And he tried to miss it. My homie Homa. Max Hova. Scott Hay. Oh, guys, this is fun golf. It's really coming down the wire here. To the wow. DeShambo puts on one. To the wire. Right down to the wire. Fucking hilarious. Shampoo. Mm. Right down to the wire. Mm. 
face. Got a. Okay, Scotty with his approach. Comes back, not all the way though. He's gonna have a very reasonable birdie putt. God damn, dude. Everything works out for Scotty Scheffler. He's going to win, and then, like, as they're putting the green jacket on, his baby's going to be born, and he's going to, like, go hold it in the green jacket. It's just too much. Tommy Fleetwood takes a really good run at Eagle. His ball's got, like, little peaches on it or something. That's fun. That's pretty cute, huh? Ludwig stripes it down the middle. Sets up on the left the left hash, which is what the kicker prefers. Homer. Max Homer. Hello, T D C O L B C. What's up, player? What is that? TDB Cold BC, you better say something about golf, bitch. Or leave. Give me more golf. Give me more golf. Last night took me an hour, but tonight I bounce back. You played at a local open today. My boy's got the bug. Okay, you're in. You're real. Thank you for joining, TD. Now I'll talk to you like a human. Uh, what'd you shoot? Who are your guys on the Masters? The usual. Conquer? I don't know what that means, but I don't know. Is that a yes or no question? Scotty. Scotty, he's a regular old Georgia peach, ain't he? I mean, that guy. Oof, the lava. Mm -hmm. 
right down to the wall, even though your English is bad. Oh. Wow. Scheffler sinks the birdie. Two strokes out. You shot at 88? Okay, respectful. Respectable. Uh, 14 on 24 handicap, though. 14 on. Okay, so you're, you're a 24 handicap, and you shot 14 over today? Or are you 14 years old? Either way. Congrats. You deserve it. And Conquer, your English is, is uh, fine. <laughs> Bryson misses his putt. We love that. It's really going to come down to what Scheffler does on the par fives, ultimately. You're 14 years old. I mean, I guess that makes sense. You're on Twitch. But that's a good score, man. Or woman or non-binary child. 88 is nice at 14. I'm trying to think what I was shooting at 14. That's that's probably when I was starting to break 90. And uh, the best I ever shot was when I was 18 or 19. And I had a couple rounds under par. So there you go. TDB, if you play at the rate I did, which was a lot in high school and then not a lot after, you'll get a couple scratch rounds under your belt. Do you play uh, high school golf? Right down to the wall. Okay. Ludwig about to take a whack. He seems so calm. He's so zen, this Ludwig. Oh, you're in England. <laughs> well, good day, chap. That's cool. Are you pulling for Tommy Fleetwood? Do you have any allegiances to uh, English golfers? I'm trying to think of other ones. Ooh! No. Ludwig gets too aggressive and catches the water on 11. You hate to see it. The only thing that can save him now is Scotty Scheffler's wife giving birth. Oh, feeling for him. It did bounce, though, which I think might give him advantage. Peace, TDB. Oh, please follow me if you didn't. Yeah, I love you, bro. Keep golfing. Right down to the wire. Okay, Max. So Max just watched Ludwig go in the water. This is a uh, par four. So Ludwig's two in, three out. Best he can hope for is an up and down for a bogey. That's not crazy. But Homa really just wants a green in regulation here.
right down to the wire. Okay, Max. There you go. Max Homa, 20, 30 feet for birdie, but really, really nice approach shot. Especially after watching Ludwig fucking dunk his. Tommy Fleetwood at 14. Gets it to that back shelf. Gets it to stay, but it's breaking away from the hole. And a long birdie putt for him. Scotty now with a chance at 11. The face on his driver is so blue. Blue, 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 blue. Rip it, Scotty. He smacks the hell out of it. He smacks the hell out of it right down the middle, Scotty. He does. Yes, he does. He do. Colin Morikawa, his ball cutting to the right. And that's going to be a nice little shot for him. Takes the hillside and breaks right into the sunny middle of the fairway. Oi, oi. Or a baby. He could have a baby by the end of the day. Splintertainment. Mercedes Benz. Disturbia. Disturbia. <clears throat> All right. Now, I don't know how much Homa knows right now with Scheffler behind him, but this is a big birdie putt for him. If he could pour that one in, it'll change a lot of things. I mean, Morikawa is still barking, but he really took a hit. Ludwig might have taken a hit. That's irreparable. Okay, Ludwig now from the drop area. Gives it a pitch, tries to spin it. Goes deep. And uh, put it right where, I guess that's where Morikawa was. So not an easy putt, but a chance to save bogey. And keep trucking ultimately. 
The kid's a superstar. I think that's the thing. It's like, if he makes that putt, it's not what people will talk about necessarily, but that's the one that will win him a championship if he makes it. Okay. Bryson DeChambeau. Oh, go, baby. DeChambeau leaves it right on the front door. And he's floored. He's beside himself. Please, Meredith Scheffler, have your baby. Now. Meredith, initiate baby. Okay, Max. Go, go, go. Be the hole. Oh. I said go. He ended up rolling that past. He and I had the same thought process there. Oh, my God. He just said white on rice. You know my problem with the phrase white on rice? Is there's brown rice. Folks, stay tuned. I got more of these things. All right, Ludwig to save his bogey. Get in there, baby. He just saw Homa blow it past. Oh, he misses exactly the same spot low, but leaves himself a better putt. Next time, Bum ba da dee dum ba. Zoo ba de dee dum ba. Okay, so Homa didn't give himself the par putt he would have liked. <laughs> Scotty Scheffler kind of looks like Benny Safty, And I might be the only person in the world who knows who both of those people are. So take it from me. Homa holds the par. <sighs> so Homa holds there, but Scheffler still has to play 11. He could dunk it. It's not likely. It doesn't seem, yeah, it doesn't seem like he will, he will, but he could. That's the beauty of golf. It's very slippery. Okay, Ludwig, you need this putt. All right, and now Ludwig's tied with toyed with Morikawa at five. He's still got a lot of holes. Oh, he's a Texas Tech fella, huh? All right.
right, Morikawa. His shot at 11, he hates it. And it's in the water. Morikawa, wheels are coming off. I feel for him. So now he's in the same spot as Ludwig, but he's already at five under. Damn it. Okay, now Scotty's turn. This is massive. 198 to the hole. Ooh, stiff finish. Trying to push it out to the right. He doesn't know. Oh, he pushed it. Well, he pushed it safely out to the right, so. It's probably the right move, honestly. Bum ba da dee da dum ba. Bum dee 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 bum. Rocking the treetops all day long. Treetop, treetop, treetop song. Let me see your treetop. Honky tonk, tree top. All right, let's go, baby. Come on. Who's that? Is that Morikawa? God damn it. I missed something important. Oh. Oh, Homa ran it through the back. Oberg finds the fat of the green. Oh my God, guys, should I unlock exclusive content? I've been so on the fence. See, Scotty Scheffler is not fun. He doesn't take any risks. Ludwig is doing okay because he doesn't really take any risks. And then the one risk he did take, he was punished for. Oh, my. Mio, hey, oh, my. Everybody. Oh, Ricky. Ricky didn't perform for me. Who we got here? Xander? Xander doesn't have a good look here. Yeah, like I give a heck about that. Okay, now Max Homa's up in the shit. Oh, such a hard... Did it hit like a sprinkler head? How can they not find it?
That is odd. Okay, Morikawa dropping from a different place. Pitches up there real nice and close. So he's got a good chance to keep a bogey. But that's got to hurt him. So, okay. Home is taking an unplayable at the par three. Scotty's chip runs it through the hole, but stays on the green. So he's going to have about a 10 footer for par big for him to hold that, especially with Homa in like a sticky situation. Scotty's only enemy is himself right now, potentially dropping strokes. Thereabouts. Thereabouts, who's a what? Witsy doozles. Summer. Wow. Morikawa for a good bogey save. Holds it. Wow, the leaderboard has changed so much in Scotty Shuffler's favor. Bryson hits it, doesn't like it. But he's just on the easy rough. Chef for his par. Yeah, chef. And he misses it and doesn't give himself the easiest bogey putt.
Okay. Homa. God, I needed that. Get in there. Okay. So Homa will likely get a double here. That's crazy. Shuffler either needs to uh, hit the water or his, his wife has to hatch, hatch a child. <gasps> Ludwig makes his par. Fleetwood, long birdie putt. Go, baby. Really nice line. Move into the country, I'm going to eat a lot of peaches. Move into the country. Max Homa for the double makes it. And went to pick it out of the cup so fast. <laughs> That's not fun, Max, but keep trucking, buddy. Uh -huh. It is all about his ability to hit the ball the right distance. All right, Scotty. Tricky little par three. Trying to bounce back from a bogey as he's one to do. Takes a conservative lane line over the bunker. Hits the fat part. Rolls it back a little and is going to have a long, long birdie putt. Just how you draw it up. Bryson DeChambeau now with his stupid putting stance. Oh, I didn't realize he had his own logo. I hate that. Uh -huh. What's the point of having a voice? Okay, Morikawa now.
He's taken slightly more aggressive line. Looks like he's playing it left to right. And he is rewarded. He's got about a 20-foot birdie putt here. 15, maybe. When it gets stuck inside your throat. Lots of extra business. For the kids of America. God, that's so true. We kind of... They kind of are the kids of America, you know? When you think about it, when I think about it, we're kind of the kids of America. Whoa! Goddamn Scotty Scheffler. That goddamn Scotty Shuffler is up to no good again. We're the kids of America. Not like any other world I know. I don't think they should be able to let you go. Shoffley for birdie, irrelevant. And nails it. But he nails it still. Shuffler, deep birdie. Great lag. Leaves himself an easy par. The patrons. Homa trying to bounce back. Oh, I hope that picked up. I mean, actually, I kind of don't. <laughs> no, no, no. So Homa's in the fairway, not perfect position, wasn't happy about that. When it gets stuck inside your throat. Scotty doesn't know, Scotty doesn't know, Scotty doesn't know. More cow to get a birdie, get back in the hunt, and he leaves it low. 
It was low the whole way. Whoa, they're calling Colin out, saying he can only win quiet COVID majors. Scotty, can he save his par? Four footer. He does. He does. You can count on that. Scotty stays strong. These guys are going to have to start getting some points. Home is going to need an eagle here. He's taking an aggressive line. He likes it, though. He's walking. Oh, he doesn't go for the green. But a nice layup. A long, fast one for Tommy Fleetwood. Oh! Tommy Fleetwood puts it online and it hits the pin. Taisito, I've never been doing better, brother. How are you? Ludwig, he's going for it. And he's successful. That's what I'm fucking... Go, baby! Hell yeah. Ludwig has a really good shot at Eagle here. And that's what someone needs to do to get back in this. <laughs> Ticito, you're funny, baby. Scotty doesn't know. Don't tell Scotty. All right. Scotty about to whip one. Oh, Ticito, don't act like you've never heard of a bad, a unsuccessful streamer. Twitch is filled with people that have no one watching. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't always have no streamers. I'm on YouTube right now. I got a couple people there, but. You know what, Ticito? I tell you what. Uh, why don't you follow me and then maybe, uh, all this, all this good setup will pay off. I do appreciate the compliment amidst all of that. I need to get a subscriber thing. Ticito, my man. Okay, Ticito, I like you. What's up? Tell me about yourself. Where are you from? Do you like golf? I don't. This is the first time I've ever streamed golf. I usually do like football and basketball, but. But the Masters is something. Okay, so Homa's got a birdie putt. That's further than Oberg's eagle putt. Um, Both of them sitting at five under. I'd like to see either of them win. Uh, 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 
from Kuwait. Interesting. I, uh, you know, norm the English guy. I don't know any golfers from Kuwait, so I can't do that. But do you golf? Do you are you interested in golf? Oh, okay. Austria, dude. You know who grew up in Austria? Beethoven. Or Mozart, one of them. Some other guys, too. Okay, nice. World Traveler. Well, it's a good time to pick it up, Ticedo, because let me tell you this. If you play golf before the age of 18, you're always going to be pretty good at golf compared to the average person. You know, my advice to you would be right now, uh, if you're in Austria, I don't know what the golf situation is, but the best thing you can do is this summer, I assume you're, if you're 17, like going, you still have a year of high school left, get a pass to play golf unlimited for the summer. A lot of golf courses have that. Play golf every day that you can. And it's like riding a bike. You, uh, If you play every day for a whole summer, for the rest of your life, you'll just you'll be okay at golf, which is nice. So I highly recommend that. Uh, I am in Chicago. The the Big Apple, they call it. Bryson. He doesn't like it, but it's fine. Oh, hell yes. That is a great place to get good at golf. Oh, yeah, dude. Everybody sucks at the beginning. But all you got to do is just play a lot. Try to... Uh, if you're 17... There's probably like some like youth leagues. Join those. Like 18 and under leagues. Um usually they have those that like play once a week. Join one of those, get a pass, play other days, compete, but also play for fun as much as you can. And you know, it's just a good thing to have throughout life. It's like it's the one sport you play you can play as a kid, and then you can also play when you're like 75. So it's a good investment in that sense. Okay, so Fleetwood's on. Ludwig didn't get the eagle, but he got a birdie. Still enough to put pressure on Scheffler. Oh, a boxer. Well, I don't know Dick about that, so I don't know if it translates, but uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people, like when I played baseball, then I would go play golf and I would overswing and, you know, it's uh it is very different. It's not as active as boxing. It's really about keeping your your feet still and your body still and like everything balanced. Uh it's it's a very different thing, but it's very peaceful. I really enjoy that aspect of golf. Okay, Colin Morikawa going for the green in two. He's really fucking going for it. 
and he is successful. Um, goes into the second cut, but I mean, still to go up and down for birdies, nice from there. I don't think Scheffler's gonna go for it, but it is two thirty-two. So, oh, apparently he is. Miss it, miss. Oh, he yanked it, which is the side to miss on, but. Oh, he didn't even yank it that bad. So now he's got a really long eagle putt, which is going to be a tap in birdie. Oh, bird. Oh, boy. Somebody come for Scotty. What's my handicap? I mean, my handicap now? I don't know. 10? <laughs> At one point in time? Maybe like 2? But, yeah, I mean, it. I haven't even played in like a year, so I, I couldn't tell you, but... uh. I could I would say I consistently hit around eighty to eighty five. That's what I consider a pretty normal round. I tr I tried I consider breaking eighty a good round, I'd say. Yeah. That's fair to say. Max Homa rips it. Twenty handicap. If you're a twenty handicap right now and you're just starting, you know, uh, you'll get there. You know, it just takes some time. The biggest thing, and this is such an old guy thing to say, but short game. You know, like go to the putting green. And chip and putt a fuck ton. And like every time you go to the putting green, throw down three or four balls and hit every putt more than once. Don't just put down one ball. Uh, make sure to hit the same putt multiple times so you can like adjust. I don't know. There's lots of good stuff. I'm sure the internet and YouTube are like full of good stuff now. But I mean, ultimately, it just boils down to like how much time do you spend out there? Uh, go to the driving range. Although I think the driving range can kind of fuck you up if you're new. It it you just yeah I don't know. And uh, if your if your parent is an ambassador, uh, then I would say get some golf lessons too, because those people ultimately are good. But. Yeah, because golf lessons are kind of a waste if you're not into it. But if you're really liking golf, and you don't, and you're patient with uh, getting better, a coach will help a lot. How often do I stream? I uh, try to do, you know, twice a week, I guess. But it just depends. I'll I'll stream big sporting events. Like I did every Packers game for football. I did the March Madness games doing this uh and then i will play playstation a good amount but i haven't been streaming that as much lately but i am going to in the future um but yeah but i make but i'm a comedian um so check out check out my shit on youtube and there's a new sketch comedy 
uh, page that we're doing called Violent Crane on YouTube and uh, Rhinestone Camboy on Instagram, which is honestly where I post all my stuff. But yeah, if you like comedy, like sketch and stand up stuff, check those out. And you're going to fucking enjoy Miami, dude. Being to be 17 in Miami. Oof. Don't do cocaine. Dude, look, cocaine's tempting. It always looks fun. Just don't do it. It's it truly it sucks. It's not worth it. Uh and now people are dying from it. I personally have never died from it, but I would say don't do it. And that is not a bit. That's not a joke. Max Homer runs it off the back of the green. That's good, Ticito. Stay on the straight and narrow, baby. Turn. So Scheffler has a good eagle lag. Very makeable birdie. God, if Ludwig didn't put his ball in the water. Princeton, dude. Go Tigers. What's your dream, Ticito? What is what does thirty year old Ticito look like? Okay, Ludwig sticks one close. He's eating a sandwich. Yeah, it's it's interesting. It's like golf is pretty worldwide, but not everywhere. Uh and you gotta start somewhere, you know? I think my dad was probably the first one in our family to ever play golf. Uh and he got to be pretty decent by the end. But it's a really, really fun game. I think that's what's great about golf, is it's really fun. And you can it's not competitive. Like like pick up basketball and stuff can be. You go out and you play golf with your friends. You can be competitive if you want, but if you're great and your friend sucks, it's still fun. It's one of the few games that is like that. Okay, I hear you, Ticito. Do you mean like from being from just being you want to develop them so that they are more than just an oil company? Is that how I'm understanding that? Or you want to... You ex ex uh, Expand on that if you would. Or don't. That's totally fine. Max Homa. A chip for birdie. Ooh, leaves it just short, but it's going to be a tap-in par. Homa's running out of holes to catch Scheffler. Well, Ticito, that's a fucking awesome answer. This is not an interview, but I would love to hire you. That is a good answer, man. Uh... Well, if you ever end up in Chicago, let me know. You can uh you can do an internship for the network. And enjoy Miami this summer, dude. 
That's going to be fun. Ludwig gets to seven under. He's eating. Yeah, I mean, that's it's an exciting time to get in. You could, uh, you could make the new Burj Khalifa completely out of, um, recycled plastic. How cool would that be? World's tallest building made completely out of unusable plastic condensed down to bricks. Red Sox. I'm not about the Red Sox, dude. I'm a Cardinals fan. Can Scheffler hold strong? History says he can. Scott Hare. Yeah, I I'm not from Chicago though, so I don't have uh Chicago sports allegiances. Actually, Chicago sports are kind of my rival cuz I grew up by St. Louis. <laughs> so, but the St. Louis Cardinals, okay? They're an institution in baseball. That's my team. They're great. The Bulls are cool. I don't have any hate for the Bulls, but I'm a Milwaukee Bucks fan. I'm a Packers fan for football and, you know, kind of St. Louis, I guess, everything else. But, yeah, I like the Bulls. I root for the Bulls. Bulls are definitely my second favorite team, and I like a lot of the uh, the younger guys. But, yeah, the Cubs. So the Cubs baseball, Chicago's one of Chicago's baseball teams, is the Cardinals' ultimate rival and my ultimate foe. Uh oh, Ludwig after the birdie yanks one into the trees. Yanks is a strong word. That's okay. Firethorn. Okay, Ticedo, as a young person on Twitch. What would uh, make my stream better? Also, what should I be streaming? What do you watch the most on Twitch? Is it just video games? Let me okay. Let me re-ask the question. What what kind of stuff do you watch on Twitch that isn't video games? The most. A word, brother. Ace that economics test and keep golfing. Have a great summer. Best summer of my life. Probably. Okay, word. Word. I do a lot of times, but not a lot of people like golf. More action. Okay, that's a good tip. All love. I, I truly appreciate it, Ticedo. Thank you, man. We'll see you soon. All right. Tommy Fleetwood. Still in the, in the hunt, technically. From a technicality standpoint. And he knocks one pin high.
Oh. Oh, that's going to run off. Hey, the boy's coming back down. Shuffler with a good look here. Long approach shot still. Okay, we're going to take a 10 second pause, folks. God damn it, Scotty Shuffler. God damn you, Scotty Shuffler. Oh. 
Dumps in his car. And still in Finland or Holland or Scottish Shepherd. The Bernie of Putin. Have his kid already. Blood big hanging out. Gonna need to hit a nice approach shot. The Shambo at sixteen. Bring it back. Oh, that's going to go for it. He's got a shot. And the Shambo is a good looking birdie. Ooh. It's too big. Right next to the hole. Down his foot, if it had just stayed on the surface, it would have started to make its way back to Auberg. Auberg gets it to stick ish right on the fringe. And he'll have that putt. Shout for now. He. Derby, what up? Yeah, it's looking that way. He's gonna, but his wife could give birth. And he said he would withdraw. I hope it comes right down to the last putt and he don't stay on the bottom. Oh, Morikawa hits us. Big slicer. Into the fans. Actually, gets a nice enough roll, but. Separate on Francis Blanche for that. The Shambo. And the Shambo misses. Okay, Ludwig. It's a super touchy putt from the French. But if he can pull it off, boom, pop up, pop up here. Don't put two to the putter. Right now, he's got lots of wedge in his hand. Okay, hold on. What you got, brother? Very fast once it reaches. Go, go, go. Oh. Aggressive approach, but he smoked it. I mean, Homo wants to win. 
Hold on, imagine that going in like tigers. What? Well, 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 folks. Oi, oi. Our magic portal to the netherworld has opened. And I've summoned Easy Bird. So Scotty Shuffler is running away with it. So anyway else? Uh, and how long does this go? It's really close to done. Oh, okay. So the the last group is on the 15th hole. There's 18 holes. Okay. Um, Scotty Shuffler is winning by three strokes right now. He's the number one in the world. He won last year. Number one in the world. He's so boring, but he's great. Okay. Uh, his wife is pregnant and uh, is due today. Oh it's shit! Like gonna give birth at any second. Oh shit! And he said if she gave birth, he would withdraw. So it's like, if she's she... holding that fucker in, right. damn, and then he does something. Okay, oh. this guy's in second. Yeah. Oh, you fucking fool! We love this guy. He's a young Swedish guy. You want to go to crushes tonight? I'm gonna do a guest spot probably. And Sean Patton is gonna be there apparently. Right? Yeah, I saw that. I'll. Uh... Okay. That's a crushes exclusive, folks. Hey, yeah, if you're in the Chicago land area right now, get your tickets to Crushes Comedy Show tonight. I don't know where it is. A live one. A live one at 8.30 p.m. At the corner of Halstead and kind of diversity, that, the next one down from diversity. Sure. Halstead and the, the street south of diversity. But uh, yes, if all goes according to plan... <clears throat> Sean Patton is going to be there. Four followers today. Hey! Twitch. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, Twitch followers, make sure to follow on YouTube as well, baby. Jesse chatted in a lot. Okay. Uh, which we appreciate. Hey, uh, I, is he still here? Um, I don't know. He might have it going in the background. He said he had to edit. So he I was going to say. Well, good on him. Take some time for yourself, J Dog. Oh, Derpy said he's here for the stash. Oh shit! Hey. Before you got here, but you're keeping him around. Oh, well, hey. He got silent. The finisher. Yeah. That's what I call this. The finisher. Yeah, and the the appetizer. That's what I. Call it. <laughs> the whole day. Yeah. Dude, I thought of uh, here's another exclusive. I thought of a line I'm excited to try tonight. Mm -hmm. Uh. I have you. Have you heard my shit, my newer shit about being broke, about like uh, someone stealing my identity. No, honestly, I don't think I've heard you do stand up in a while. Oh, okay. Oh, come to you. Yeah. Oh, come to you. Come to you, dude. I, I'm planning on it. Yeah. Come to you, dude. I'll do. I'll do all the new, the new hits. Um, but so, I just, uh, basically, I'm just like talk about being too poor to get a haircut or needing a co-signer to get a haircut essentially <laughs> and uh and then i what i want to be like yeah so when you see me wearing hats it's less trendy and more a sign of the times <laughs> that, that's that's fine that's like yeah and then i thought like damn okay then i can make hats that say like a sign of the times yeah. or like not things aren't like not looking good or i don't know some yeah. shit I got room for it, all right? Hey, another exclusive. That's why That's why you tune into these streams, man. You get behind-the-scenes content and a look at stuff that you wouldn't see anywhere else. You wearing a hat is like you taking the toothpaste tube and cutting it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like... Wearing hats is smoking resin for you. Yeah, it's like some, but just some, there has to be something with the hat, though, that's yeah. the equivalent of the more I'm wringing it out at yeah, the tube, you know? It's like the lower it is on my head. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The more coming out of the hat, I should say. I don't know. Really, I just need to get the back of my neck cleaned up. But there's, there's a. I get mine done down the street. Like well, there's this uh, comic, this dude who used to do comedy in LA. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is wild. So, when I first moved to LA, June 2020, or no, no, no. Hold on a second. Yeah. Boy. This is the only one that still has a shot. Love me. Kids. 
Oh. Is it the trap? He's trapping. Well, anyways, I got a really bad haircut. Uh, <laughs> one of them is insane. And, uh, and then went to go get it fixed. And then, uh, the dude that was recommended to me to get it fixed. The dude who gave me the bad haircut was also recommended to me by somebody. Who I brought it up with years later. I was like, that was one of the worst haircuts of my life. And he was like, really? That dude fucking always does great for me. But I was like, it was insane. Whatever. But so, uh. Is the, other, is your, is the friend bald? Like, no. Oh. No, he has hair. Good hair. Um, and so, yeah, anyway. So then the, the fixer that was recommended to me. There's this dude who was doing it because it was during COVID, was doing it out of his uh, house, his little apartment. But he was in like this, him and his wife just had a baby and they were in this little like, uh, like complex unit, unit comp, like it, it just but, like a tiny one, you know, and they're all, they have like little courtyards and shit like that. So it was like one of those. And so each of them had their own little like back deck yard-ish area but so he had like a chair set up out there with like a little canopy and shit over it so it was like outdoor he could do outdoor cuts and it, but it was like during covid covid and that was the worst haircut you ever had no no no. that so this dude i like he was recommending me we're talking and he's like oh yeah i used like i know so and so because i used to do i did a little bit of stand-up but i did more improv and i was like oh really like well is really talking about that he's super cool we get along great I go to him like twice and then he goes, oh yeah, uh, we're moving to Chicago. And I was like, oh, well, damn, now I have to like find a new barber. So I was like, well, do you know anyone? And he's like, I don't, unfortunately, because everyone has like left and all that. And uh, and so we like followed each other on Instagram. And uh, one of the last times I was back, I went and like, cause he got a shop. And so, and this was like, so that was 2020. And so then he got a shop here in Chicago and shit. And I went and saw him. And he's, like, doing super well. The shop is, like, sick and everything. Um, but I think he might be trying to, like, get back into improv or stuff. Um, and so, so I'm going to trade him comedy lessons for haircuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so some one-on-ones, you know, some zip zap zaps And uh, I, I will give you the, the tricks to win zip zap zap every time. How about that? Uh, well, oh, you were, you were, like, an Atlas guy for a long time, right? Yeah, not like a super, uh, like two I mean, years. You were a member of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like never have done improv, uh, like except for like the monkey business mix up show. And, like, I think you can do it. It's fine. It's like, I mean, it's fine in the sense that like it's not as hard as everyone thinks. Um, I don't think it's, uh, I think. No, you are shaking in your boots right now. I don't think I'd be amazing at it, but I do. Th I do think I'd feel comfortable doing it. I'm not that bad. You would feel comfortable or uncomfortable? Comfortable. I don't think I'd be that scared to do. It. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think like I think it's one of the dumbest things that there's like that beef with stand up and improv. Or stand up is like improv is so fucking dumb. If you're an improviser, you're a child and an idiot. And it's like, I, for in my experience, from what I've seen. Almost all of the people saying that would greatly benefit from taking one improv class. Their stage presence alone would benefit so much that it's just so funny. It's like, all right, man, yeah, keep talking. You know, like you don't have to love it, but like just don't do it if you don't like it, or give it a shot. Who knows? One, you might like it, but two, I mean, like for you, it's like. It's just character stuff, you know? So it's like, you don't have to get super, you know, it's like sketchy character about it, but it's like, if you can think of a character, boom, you're that you're pretty much there. It's kind of like what you grew up on too, I guess, because it's like the, I don't know, people that like, stand-ups that hate on improv will be like, uh, you know, it's just fucking, it's just like, it's all bad, you know? Like, it's just so yeah. bad, and it's like, as if most stand-up isn't awful. Oh, yeah. Like, that's yeah. the thing. It's like, yes, a lower-level improv show is awful, just like an open mic is awful. Yeah. Like. Yeah, exactly. And also, like, but also improv can be really good, too. Exactly. And so exactly. it's like, what are you... If you're seeing nothing about improv, it sounds like a you problem, buddy. You gotta stop going there.
And I do think, like, uh, you know, most good sketch comes out of, a lot of good sketch comes out of improv. Yeah. Um, and, like, I don't know. Just for general comedy purposes, it's like improv. And I think that's the other thing, too. The funniest things uh, to me in life, like examples of comedy shows and movies and that kind of stuff, are some combination of improvised and written. Yeah. Uh, like stand up on its own and improv on its own are like these kind of pure forms. But like, honestly, the greatest pieces of art that I consider comedy are like movies and television and that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, and you know, it's you, you have to meet halfway, but like, also, it's very metaphorical, too, that it's like it went from hating on improv to now crowd work is the big thing, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, all right, well, <laughs> kind of the people who did a little bit of improv or weren't scared of improv are now the best at crowd work so like oh, yeah. yeah i know at the end of the day it's like it's all just d different muscles you're just working different muscles and it and skills transfer over so like you don't need to use it every day in the future but at some point some part of that will come up and then you know and then you say, wow, I'm glad I paid $8,000 for Sensei Neal's Improv 101.zip yeah. file. Which is led by our AI yep. improviser. Yep. Uh, Delphar. Yes. Yep. A non-binary entity. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I just rewatched the documentary on Del Close. Do you know about Del Close? Yeah, I watched that yeah. documentary. And Bob Odenkirk talked oh. a lot about him. Uh, yeah. His book. So apparently Bob Odenkirk like went to Second <clears throat> City and just was like, I want to try out. And, yeah. And they're like, no. <laughs> and, you know, they're like, take our classes. All yeah. Stuff, whatever. Uh, and he like met Del Close, like at right as Del Close was getting kicked out of second oh uh, yeah 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 and then like uh interviewed him a bunch yeah and like yeah it was interesting yeah he was talking about when he uh when he went to interview him at his house uh, he, yeah he went to second city oh yeah he went to second city and i think Dell like just gotten kicked out yeah. and then he went to like a bookstore down the street and then yeah. Dell was there, and he was like, "Oh well, I just interviewed so and so. Can I interview you?" Yeah. And then from there they went to Dell's house, which he said had a broken out window, but it was like the middle of winter, so he was like, "It was freezing." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said all that in his book and how the drugs and the yeah. He, I mean, he sounded kind of like not a great person to be around. Yeah. Um, and I don't have this like reverence for him. Like he's like. So, yeah jesus christ a comedy or something but uh, yeah i mean he played an important role what what's the thing that the name of the show that they Harold. Harold. which gave me so much fear Did you like Harold? yes because i didn't understand like i wasn't tapped in enough yet my third eye was not yet open enough sure. to like fully pick up on themes and shit and so i was like really intimidated by all that and so because i was the youngest one at ours and so everyone you know was like late 20s early 30s and uh i was 22 and was just like let's fucking party all the time and just have fun uh very different vibes i mean i made it work but also like i was scumbaggy and just like eh, it's the lifestyle you know and i mean they we all had fun but like hey, trust me we all had fun those were the days when you could just really you know not like today that's what i never have fun that's when enough bar was really enough bar you know what i'm saying 2014 yeah um i've slurped down a lot of uncircumcised oh my god 
these kids these days, they keep saying it, and I say, do you know what you're saying? <laughs> I say, stop. Don't go to prison talking yeah. like that. <laughs> you guys fair enough, Barb, that you're like, oh, God, you're going to ruin shit on nicotine. <laughs> Put one thing in your head, kid. Yeah, you, you're getting dick and 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 dick so I just like scrolled through all of them, you know? Yeah. And, like, God, look at that Bong.Asia was taken. Bong got a lot of things were taken that I wanted. Bong.Party was taken. I mean, that's the obvious one. Uh, yeah, I added a lot of good domains last night. Didn't buy them. <clears throat> but Bong.com and Bong.Bong.com. Oh yeah, Bong Bong is like a New York thing. I think Bong Bong, saying Bong Bong, it's like a Wu Tang. Okay. Like it's a. Like it's a good thing. Like it's. A, I think so. It's like understood. I think I believe so. Okay. If my calculations are correct, my social calculations, I do believe Bong Bong. From a New Yorker is a good thing. If you're a New Yorker in the chat, if you know a New Yorker, ask him. Is that true? Sound off. Let us know. Is that left? Get in the water. Left, the water. left on red. No, it's fucking perfect. Yeah, God damn it. Hoo-ah, hoo-ah. Oh. That's Al Pacino going undercover in uh, just any Latin character. <laughs> hoo-ah, hoo-ah. That's what he said. That's, that was the typo in the chat. Did you see it? Oh, yeah. It. Alex. Alex Quackity. Bong bong. Bong bong. Is that, are you uh, saying, are you a New Yorker? Yeah. Sure. Are you down with the woo? What's your borough? Do you bong bong? Yeah. You bong bong? You boop boop. Scotty Sheffler is going to win this. We hate it. Got a Sheffler. Do they know any Spanish? Who are you talking about? New York? Very much Spanish in New York? I know. I mean, kindergarten Spanish. Scotty Scheffler. Where is he? I don't know. I don't know. Do you ever watch the SNL like best of DVDs? Oh, yeah. I had that on my. I probably don't know. Oh, okay. Like <laughs> You'd watch it on like a fucking thermometer screen. Yeah. I had the perfectly square one. Yeah. I remember that one? Oh, okay. Lived. But, but it was like thin? It was thin. It was like, okay, so they had like the classic kind of long skinny one like that. Yeah. And then at one point they switched to just a square one. Which looked like the classic one. Yeah, but just quite square. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And then they went that. back to like a glossier color high def. This the square one was I think maybe the first color one. Yeah. But I had the best of Chris Farley, the best of Adam Sandler. Will Ferrell was yeah. my my Will Ferrell. I wanna say Chris Farley. Maybe. But Will Ferrell for sure was a huge one for me at my house. <clears throat> Robert Goulet, I love when you did that. Yeah, da 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 da. Goulet, proper. What he's doing the uh, the album of rap songs, the covers. Yeah. Proper. I love it when you call me big. Proper. I like the ones he did with Rachel Dratch, the like lovers. Oh, in the hot tub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm slowly turning into that guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's not the worst guy. It's, uh, somebody's got to be that guy. Honestly, if you run through all of Will Ferrell's characters, <laughs> yeah. it's not the worst. Yeah. Rookie Bobby's probably the best. Yeah. That's a glorious character. Are you saying, like, person wise? Like, 
as a as a guy, Ricky Bobby is. Who are or are you saying just as a great funny character? No, just as like life outcome. I see. Oh you know, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got yeah. like made. Uh, I don't think Ricky Bobby's probably a good guy. Uh, actually, I I take Ashley Schaefer from Eastbound and Down. Ashley Schaefer oh, BMW. Yeah. Okay, okay. I take that with a. Um, that Will Ferrell character, it, like I can only think of like the Matrix twins when I see him. Yeah. You know? Oh nope. Will Ferrell from the other guys. Uh, Alan. Yeah, Gator. Yeah. Because then his wife is Ava Mendez. Oh yeah. Yes, she's. Yeah. And she does know Spanish. You know what I'm saying. Sure. You know what I'm saying. Baba. Scotty Shumper doesn't kill this song. God, that ball is so random. What that ball is doing right now is so random. I feel like Scotty Shumper may be hurrying everybody because his wife is always seconds away from labor. So. <laughs> He's just not a fun enough guy to be number one. I see. Now, if it came out, he was sleeping with porn stars a bunch and that. Oh. That would be great. Okay. But see, that's the thing about Tiger Woods. It's like, uh, even though... It's okay. Um, Tiger Woods, even though he had like a wife and a family and stuff, it was never really... I don't think people saw him as wholesome, though. you know, because he's still like, yeah, he still went out and partied, you know, people knew that much. Like he was always hanging out with Charles Barkley. Yeah, but he was like wholesome in the way that it was. It was just not out there, you know, yeah. it was like clean, no drama, kind you know, the, the whiz kid. Yeah. But Scotty Scheffler is like, I don't know. He's just so fucking boring. He's from Texas. Him, he married his high school sweetheart. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Married with nice. Scotty. You can't even really hate him because he's just a nice guy. Yeah. And he's the best in the world. Okay. He just keeps fucking winning. Bro. So what is he writing after in that little notebook that he pulled out? His score? Well, yeah, so he's writing his score. You have to officially keep your own scorecard. Oh. And then sign it at the end. So that if... Uh, because, like, once you sign it, it's official. And then if they, like, you know, if you didn't report it, right, it's qualified. But no one else is allowed to touch your scorecard except for your caddy. Uh, I see. So at this point, it's just like a ceremonial thing. Yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. But it's like, it is important. Okay, it has happened before. I don't think it was in the Masters, but the U.S. Open. Dustin Johnson, who's married to uh, Wayne Gretzky's daughter, who is Paulina Gretzky, who is... She, what Wayne Gretzky is to hockey, she is to what she does you know <laughs> okay and uh anyway all that to say okay so like if if it's in a hazard mm -hmm. um you can't you can't touch your club to the ground until you swing okay so like on the regular thing you know you can set your club behind it and take practice swings but if it's in a hazard you can't do that and so dustin johnson was in a place that was a hazard but a bunch of people had been standing there all day so you couldn't really tell it was a hazard and he set his club down and he didn't count that extra stroke. And then he turned in his card and got disqualified. It was very controversial because people were like, well... When was this? Um, 2019. But then they weren't like watching along the whole time being like, oh, he put his club down. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. They were, and so like, and then, but then people, the fans were really upset. 
Yeah. Because uh, people really like Dustin Johnson. I like him. He's on the Saudi League now, but okay. Uh, he's you know it, you couldn't blame him for doing what he did. It's not he wasn't cheating. He, well, it, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. That's what it's like. If it, if it comes to something like that where it's an accident, it just it's like why even why risk that happening as an accident and then also why risk the ability for someone to cheat like just why don't you just cut it all out completely and big we'll just officially because they are also keeping score as well you know so that's where i thought this was like displayed for everyone to see it is displayed for everyone to see and that's the other thing is uh i don't know how he if they just reported what he reported and then later found that out. But it was like a whole thing and everyone was like pissed off. Yeah. They, they basically, I don't think they'll ever really do that to someone again unless they like. I see. Like, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like intentional. Yeah. So it was like such, it caused such outrage. But see, yeah, that's the thing. It's like you would think. But okay. So the other thing though, too, is beyond keeping score. They also have uh, yardage books, and so they like they have like little diagrams of the course, and they put where every shot is, and like their putts, and how long they were, and what they made. And that's just like for them. That's for them, yeah. And then they study that because, especially here, this is like a lot of tournaments are at different places mm. every year. Yeah. This one is always here. Oh, okay. And so like. So they can compare. Yeah, right. So it's like a course you're going to plan on. And that's yeah. why Tiger Woods always has a chance in this tournament. Because he's played it so many times? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's like the it's muscle memory. Now. Always got a chance. Um, what do you think of this like angled sort of thing? I like it. And then I angled the chat. As yeah, well. yeah, yeah. I like that as well. I thought, you know... We, we need to do just a, like, that playlist of YouTube videos. Yeah. One day this week, let's just sit down, do Mystery Science Theater for YouTube videos. And see, I like this. Uh-huh. If we put a TV, like, thing here yeah. and put the videos there okay. for people to see. Yeah. And then put chat coming behind us, you know, and stop it like maybe about like here, and then just have that TV being like big, you know. So, <laughs> and obviously, we could, you know, swivel the couch, yeah, 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 yeah. That's so doable, and I think that would be fun. Uh, I had this guy. Ticito, mm -hmm. uh, is I two kids follow me today. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, he's like from Kuwait but lives in Austria, and his dad is like an ambassador. And oh shit! He's uh gonna live in Miami for the summer. All, all right. Shit. Worldly, uh, worldly man. Yeah. Ten Thing's not going to get it done. Oh. Okay. Scotty Scheffler's wife could still have the baby, though. No, Cam Smith just pulled it out. Pulled out that one he did. Okay, Scotty. He pawed out. He really he has to screw up twice now. He has to really, really not play well. That is a perfect shot. So what? Okay, here's the other thing that's really frustrating, okay? Uh -huh. I picked five golfers. I bet on them to win. Uh and then four out of those five golfers, I bet on them to make the top ten. And the only one that made the top 10 was the one I did it the best. Mm. Um, like and Scotty Scheffler is the favorite. It's so boring for the favorites. To... Yeah, dude. 
Well, yeah, it's uh, not what that happened. Uh, is Crusher's at eight? Eight thirty. Who's on that hot, hot one? Jack Allen, Hannah, God damn it, Hannah and Maggie. Coming in here and saying that. Oh. Which is a problem? Which? Oh, I see. Uh, Jack Allen, Hannah Maggie, Isaiah Edoho, Amira Sanders, Alex Burr, Alan De La Fuente. Nice. I don't know. I only know Isaiah. Um, I know Jack Allen is like, uh, he's uh, what I would describe as zany. Okay. Uh, I enjoy Jack Allen. And Alex, Alex Bear's on there? B E R. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. She's like been living in Europe. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that's cool that she's officially back. I knew she was coming back. Um, and Isaiah. Isaiah was at UFC last night. Uh, who else did you say? Adam De La Fuente, Amira Sanders. Um. I, I don't know if I know Adam. Amir is great. Anna Maggie. I don't know. Let me see a picture. Oh, she looks familiar. Yeah. But, uh, no, I'm not sure. Yeah. Xander. South African. That's so many to go think this time is coming. Oh, I guess I gotta wait. I need to put a new planter on, so hopefully, I don't see how much time that has left. That's how it works out. Hey, hey. All right, so is it done? Dolph or sixth? Yeah. I mean, oh no. Just that guy's done? Yeah. They say, get him out of here. Get this fucking stooge out of here. It's likely. Oh, nice. This ends in 44 minutes. Good timing. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Oh, hey. Hey. Okay. okay. Yeah. Why do you stream on? I'm not gonna stream on Twitch. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm do YouTube. Gonna... There's no point. Like I have no desire to go any sort of premium or partner or whatever. And it's like anyone that I would get them as a follower or whatever, I would just try to migrate over to something else, anyways. So it's like, yeah. Oh, Jesse says I'm peeking. All right. Yeah. He eats Mike. I might have turned you up higher too. I mean, do, you, do you, can you bring the zoom closer? Is the cord long enough? Yeah. To the computer. Yeah. Oh, for you to look at it. Yeah. Whoa. Um, that's about as far as she's gonna. Okay. Let's. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna turn you down. Yeah, yeah. Turn me, turn me down. Turn me down. How's that? Also, why don't you plug uh, headphones in the monitor into the, you can do it into the Zoom. No, dude, see, this is, okay. Tell me, once once I get my stuff, dude, then we're going to get this set up, and you'll see, man. We did this one a little sloppy stuff. That's okay, that's okay. But we'll... We'll I need to, nice. I really need to just fucking do the stream elements thing and get a subscriber ding a learn ding along. All right. How's that, Jesse? How's that, Papa Bear? Captain. You look pretty good. Oh, Captain, there. my captain. Yeah, that's good. Oh, Colin. Dude, Twitch is a cesspool. Yeah. 
Twitch is a cesspool, and then Cosmo talks about Kick like it's like some worse version of Twitch. And it's like, muy bien, he says. Oh, Mr. 305. Yeah, I've never. I was meaning to check out Kick, and then. And that, but that was also like a year and a half ago when I first heard about it, Mm -hmm. and then never did. And then Cosmo said that, and I'm like, okay, well, now I know now I know that I guess. Whoa! Oh, Uh, I was confused because there used to be like a messaging app, basically like a WhatsApp (laughs) equivalent called Kick. Yeah. Um, and I just thought everyone was talking about that. They weren't. Okay. Turns out, luck would have it. Oh my God, Scotty Shuffler is gonna win, and then like he's gonna walk up to his wife, and she's gonna give birth, and they're gonna. It's just like she's there. No, I don't think she's oh. there. But I mean, it's what I'm saying is it's all gonna work out for. They have him there. They have her in like one of those blue medical tents that they have at football games. Yeah. They have it in a bathtub. popped up. And then he goes and gets the baby, and he's wearing the green jacket, and he goes, yeah. You know about the green jacket? Yeah, you get the green jacket. And Whoa! I'm kind of a champion. Uh, chat, has he talked about this yet? Has anyone brought this up? Jesse, uh, Jesse and Dan gave me my roses. Congrats, man. But the fucking ghouls and cretins that live on <laughs> Twitch... <laughs> Hey, they, you know, I mean, luckily they didn't say anything awful about it, but yeah. they did not, did not focus on it. You're right, dude. Twitch is what? Okay, Twitch There's is no all, point. It's also like Twitch is like uh, primarily gaming, you know, which I enjoy gaming, but I'm realizing that I kind of don't like streaming gaming as much because gaming is like my alone time. Yeah. You know, and I think that's also why I don't like Fortnite because I don't like Henry yelling at me like like where <laughs> checkpoints are. I want to like listen to podcasts while I like zone out, you know. Yeah, I do kind of go off on my own a lot uh during those games. But also, I mean, I don't know. I've never really played with a squad that was like super we're together, we do we do this. Everyone to an extent kind of goes off on their own. And and yeah. we're always like, "All right, we need to be better about staying together." Yeah. But I am very guilty of of going off on my own and I used to love that though when I was a kid, Modern Warfare. You know, we yeah. we'd build out a whole squad, and I really liked that. I liked that there was a variety of games. Like we played Search and Destroy. I want to get back into the finals. That's what yeah. I need to, because it sounds like they've added some more shit, fixed some stuff. So, I just think my heart's not in like shooters anymore. Mm. I really, I really, I used to love it, and I think I. I think once it gets to the next gen PlayStation Six, I'll be done with video games. I don't think I'll get the next console. Wasn't well, uh, aren't didn't one of them just announce that they're not making anymore? Xbox. Okay, but didn't Sony announce? Did they say that they're making a six, or did they say that the five was going to be? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. But well, yeah, there's no way to know. I'm saying there's an end in sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, our Lord uh Joe Rogan, um the high saint, he L J R. He L J. L J R Lord Joe. Lord Joe. Uh he claims to that, you know, video games is an addiction, much like substances and stuff. I agree it's uh, uh, about that to some degree. Like especially young people you can see it like yeah the the stimuli oh yeah yeah yeah. it's just like so overwhelming yeah on the brain um but boy does it feel fucking good you know oh yeah it gets your heart racing the adrenaline up you know but it's like you know just go outside and do drugs you know meet yeah, real people get that adrenaline up the natural way yeah. all right in between traffic you're bobbing you're weaving ecstasy yeah fights yes buy weapons not necessarily use them but just holding them can feel really powerful <laughs> yeah exactly hold them and think about what you yeah. could do all the choices you could make in that moment right 
wield them in front of someone. Yeah. <laughs> that can feel really good too. Again, yeah, a lot you... of adrenaline comes from just wielding a gun near somebody. Yes. Now, wielding weapons. I hear if you shoot and kill them, that feels great too, but I yeah, don't know. But I that's not for me. I wouldn't try I don't try that. That's so. not the type of rush I'm looking for. I don't stand um, for that. Yeah. Also mahjong. If you like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Bring a weapon to Mahjong. A lot of adrenaline that will kick up in you. <laughs> Don't bring a knife to a Mahjong game. <laughs> I remember going to uh, a therapist as a kid, and I would play Mahjong in his computer. I'd see, he taught me how to play Mahjong. That and Tetris. I'd play Tetris on his computer. Those were great. Maybe that's why I love Tetris so much. Windows XP Pinball. Oh, yeah, the Galactic. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was obsessed with that. And my co there were like cheat codes to it. Oh. My cousin told me about that. Oh and shit. I got like incredibly addicted to that wow. one specific game. And I'm still a sucker for solitaire. I actually it's strange. The New York Times games totally replaced my like on the toilet game or any of that because Oh yeah. I used to do uh I would just play cribbage. Or euchre. Oh, okay. Nonstop against yeah. the computer, not against real people. Yeah. The cribbage thing was insane. I like it keeps your stats forever. Oh, really? and so I played like forty five hundred games or something, <laughs> and uh, you know it's like you it, you just know statistically like you tell it to play the best yeah. whatever and like uh, it's one thing that like humans can they can build a euchre one that they can't build a euchre one that will beat you every time. Like, you can be as good as the best computer, basically. Oh. But they, like, uh, but it, that's because it's, like, mostly luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, like, dumb it down, and, like, I won exactly 52%. And there's easy, medium, and hard mode. And on hard mode, I won exactly 52%. And, like, I guess when I first started, I played a couple hundred games on medium, and I won, like, 75% there. Okay. And it just, like, you know. What about chess? Uh, I played chess, but then, um, Henry got too good at chess, and then, uh, I, I don't know, and I, well, okay, I played chess with my ex for a while, uh -huh. but then, um, I, like, started playing on my own and getting a little bit better, and then she mm. didn't want to play Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I don't know, I had the chess.com app, I went through a month of having the app, yeah. and really enjoying it, I would get back into it, I'm totally yeah do you use the app chess.com i do i always kind of i got into it for a little while and then fell out same there's this reddit that's like so on the app when it tells you like the little exclamation for like good and bad move yeah those little things uh people put like their tinder conversations on reddit and then people like analyze it with those emojis, like oh, that's funny. like brilliant move, yeah, like yeah, missed yeah. opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of my favorite. Those some subreddits are just are so fun, like that one and uh, fuck Caillou, Caillou. Do you know about that one? Oh, I think so. It's just like where there's everyone hates Caillou. It's just like murder porn for Caillou. It's that's like wow, like I gave uh, Caillou a rare jail disease. Oh wow pretty fun wow Hoo Hoo there was a summer where i got really obsessed with trying to get that down perfect and i definitely got better at it and more consistent but it's a it's a hard thing to get but it was very funny because that was uh like the same time that i took a road trip to colorado with some friends and so by the time we got there they were all like Good doing it or by the, by the like by the end of the trip we were all doing it but it was just funny being in the car because you'd just be like ooh ah, nope ooh ah, nope ooh ah. ooh that was better yeah. that was everyone's like oh yeah okay all right yeah like learning to juggle ooh, ah. it's arguably the ooh, ooh, it's ooh. Harder. i didn't know about that part until recently whoa and that was a reveal for me well, see, because that's what really sells it for the me. caption tonight, dog. You're going to send, like, I need to do them tonight, or are you going to send them to me tonight? But I don't know if I can, well, maybe I'll do them tonight. If I can, after my book show that I asked to be on. 
Sean Patton is going to be on this show, Jesse. Supposedly. Yeah. Yeah, I'll believe Were you with us when we all went out? Sean, Jesse, Sean, Jesse, Jesse, Sean, Jesse, Sean, when he was at the club that weekend. That was that was funny. That was a good time. I remember him being at the club. Uh, mo- more than once. He's a fun guy. Yeah. Maybe a couple. I remember something weird happened with Glenn and Sean Pat. Or Glenn was like said something really weird. Did you ever hear the story about Glenn and John Doerr? No. Uh John Doerr was headlining and like hanging out, you know? Yeah. And we were right outside the club and Glenn came up and was like uh like what did he say? Something like to John Doerr, he's like, Are you on the show? Uh and John Doerr's like, Yeah and he's like Who's headlining? Um, and then John Dorr just like made up someone and went with it and be like, he's like, oh, this guy's some fucking asshole. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm the future. And he just like kept rolling yeah, with it. Yeah. And Glenn just totally bought in. That's was hilarious. Like, it was like, oh no, well, okay, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Glenn, that's funny. But I I feel like when Sean Patton came, Glenn did something something similar. Yeah, but something more off putting. Mm. I'm trying I'm trying to remember what it was, but maybe it's a false memory too. But um, and then Sean is Sean still uh dating that the comic that opened for him for a while? I have no idea. I only met him the one time. The last time he was at the club. Jesse says no. I'm assuming to your question, Dane. Yeah, yeah. He's so fucking fun, dude. To me, he is New Orleans. Like, that's what New Orleans is to me. Mm. They're all Sean Pat. I see. Boo, Scotty, boo. Dog, you got it cold in here. Yeah, so what happened is uh, the I think the girls upstairs turned on the air conditioning. Oh, so you kind of get the runoff? I don't get to choose. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so, you were at the behest of the maidens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. I see. It's true. The fair maidens, hey, look, whatever I'll, bu- they, whatever I'll bundle they up. Need. Fair maidens, put it at the tip whatever of the tree. Whatever they need. It would be our honor. Sean Patton's on a new TV show? Oh, okay. What's the show? Wrestling Timberlands? That's Stand right. Stand up. Sup, uh, uh, okay, that's so many. That's what a handle. Whoa. Where, what? Okay, sup. Uh, no, nah, I'm not interacting with Twitch people anymore. I'm just done. Stuff if you follow me, I'll acknowledge you for one comment. Oh, do you have the Twitch on just anybody can talk? Don't, yeah. Not follower only? Oh, is that a thing? Yeah. Oh, I should do that. <laughs> that would help. <laughs> yeah. I bet a bunch of I mean, of also people just would... get off Twitch in general. And you can do the same on YouTube. Yeah, he's playing a gym teacher, Brian Jordan Alvarez, Silva Show, Two Night League. Oh, okay. That's okay. Cool. Damn, they need that's nice. They need anyone that looks like me on that show. <laughs> I need money. <laughs> well, I mean, it sounds like it's out of school, so you know. But uh, maybe they need a love interest. That's, uh, well, I could be. They need a janitor. Every school needs a funny janitor. You know. It's true. I had a janitor that, like, I I'm not sure could talk. Oh, okay. But that's not a great role. No, I can get some. I I can do good looks. I think you would do really good as uh, like a like concerned parent. You know. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Okay, I do that. I think you. I here's here's I'm casting you. All right, all right, okay. all right. Yeah, yeah. You're you're part of a couple. You're part of a marriage that you don't. You and your wife hate each other. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You just always want to be alone. 
Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. And like, so maybe you kind of bond with Sean Patton because I'm assuming he, I'm assuming Sean Patton isn't like teacher of the year, Jim T. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like you kind of vibe with him, you know, but uh, like your wife is like the biggest pain in his ass. Yeah. Because she's always on his shit. She's like, mm -hmm. she's head of the parent teacher shit. I see, I see, I see. And I'm like, yeah, I fucking hate her yeah. too. And you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I see, okay. So you guys are kind of this yin and yang. All right, parent. I like that. I like that. All right, I'll pitch on that tonight. Hey, man, good to see you. Do you remember me, first off? Second off, here's an idea for that show that I heard you're on that I have no idea what it's about. All okay, right. Okay, but hold on. Can I finish the pitch? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were done. I'm your bitch wife, dude. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to find a role for me and my boy here. We're married. Yeah, and the role has we have to be married. <laughs> His role is going to be a departure from his true self <laughs> by a lot. He needs to do that. He, <laughs> he needs to take a role that pulls him out of his every day. He will go method. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he hit a teacher. <laughs> PGA Tour. That's right. That is. These, these are the PGA Masters, baby. I guess this technically isn't. It's a PGA event, but like the lords of the PGA. So all the Saudi guys can play in this one. Oh, okay. So it's not just PGA, but PGA and Saudi merged, and I don't fucking understand any of that. Oh, you see, I'm not gonna consistently be a golf streamer. I don't think. I might do the other majors, but Oof. I do get kind of sleepy. Yeah. My dad, all you know, he would always say he loved golf. And Sunday, it's all you know. It always ends on Sunday. Every Sunday, he'd watch it and then he'd fall asleep at about this point. Oh but, yeah, it's very easy, very easy to fall asleep like this. But it's a great time to take a nap. Ooh. And that's his round. And that putt literally meant nothing. Oh, no, that was a par putt. That meant a lot. Par putt. That meant about... The old par putt. Probably half a million dollars. The old par putt. I'm having a stroke. Isn't that crazy? That putt was, like, worth $500,000, ultimately. Scotty Scheffler, two times ma two time Masters champion. Three behind Tiger. He is a stud, no doubt. Three point six Masters. I don't know what that means. Oh, mill, mill feel that okay yeah how much well it's it's weird because like when they tie you know how they split it up but i think about that every time they finish on 18 that putt means so much money wise scotty scotty oh boy and scotty scheffler is your 2024 Masters champion, folks. I'm out. Where's his wife? Scotty won 3.6 mil. Shit. Pretty nice, huh? Dumbass baby gonna cost about 3.7. Yeah, that's true. The average baby costs a million dollars, right? Dumbass. I don't know. 18 years of a Shit, child. I can get you one for 20 bucks. And that's why we're friends. And I run through them, too. All right, Jesse, baby. See you, Jesse. See you later, skater. I'm going to call it, too. Yep. I don't want to watch the interview.